Alright, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to some more Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, well, today's a very exciting day because we're actually going to set sail now. And, uh, well, it's going to be the whole coast. This is, uh, well, that's Nadra. Um, we'll do that first um, and then we'll keep going. So, <laughs> wait, can we actually fly to, wait, I think we can catch the wind. If so, that'll be awesome. But, yeah, okay. That's actually very perfect. Okay. All right. <laughs> I just booted up the game. I had to switch over the save. Uh, we spent a lot of last time in the jungle. Um, so I'm excited to just, you know, probably build a boat, go around to all the different islands, and uh, yeah, I'll check it out. See, so yeah, I hope everyone's having a good uh, Wednesday. I'm very excited for this. <laughs> I've get re -applicated. It's been like three days since I played the game last, which is a very long time. Okay. And I'm not sure if there's going to be any more. Yeah, there's a couple more. It's because you gradually respawn. I think there's up to 12 different parts you can get. And, uh, well, you can only do so much. All right, but there was Mr. Korok over there. Or rather, there's that one. And then... That's a bloopy, actually. Okay. Let's try to go for that. As they just warm up, yeah, we'll figure out what's going on. But our goal is to do stuff all around the waters, and, uh, yeah, Aventide's a big one. There's also some, like, pirate-esque camps, we heard. Like, the whole, like, control squads. There's one of them we didn't do, so. Okay. So we will build a little something funny just to get down here. Um, yeah, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, thank you, uh, Joan Bugs, for the dollar. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you, Lucario, for the five. Give me a small bit of what's pirates called booty. Also, I'm attempting a 100% run for this game for a second playthrough. I hope that goes well. Um, yeah, it's a very daunting game to 100%. Um, because, well, I mean, Breath of the Wild, I feel like, well... In terms of 100%, it's a little, a little less than double the content, I would say, from Breath of the Wild. I could be wrong, I just don't exactly know the full scope. Um, it took me about 135 hours to do all Breath of the Wild content minus all Koroks, but I don't remember how long it took me to 100%, so. Alright, we did this cave. <laughs> I guess it was just a freebie. That means for me, or rather for you, you get the roll. Because the roll is cool. Thank you, Amethyst. Uh, one fourth of a year. Awesome. Yeah, I finally have Shad on again because uh, well, we are now full through most of the gameplay stuff. I, I have to keep rolling them because it's like. We will abuse this Korok. Because it's fun. <laughs> Woo! Uh, and then immediately. Follow up with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, the Koroks have it worse than anyone else in this game. Like, you thought Zelda's backstory in this game is sad? No. Look at what the Koroks have to endure. If you take all their pain, multiply them together. Yeah. Sorry, that exceeds everything Zelda went through. Great calamity. That is peak torture. Two one. I'm enjoying the Korok run. Oh, <laughs> we can blow them. <laughs> okay, they're that light apparently. Um, don't go in the water though. I'll get the crab. <laughs> he, he still has his roll instinct, which is fun. There we go. I'll eat the Korok. He's he's bite sized. Well, they all are. So. Okay, so the one thing I do know, uh, in terms of boat stuff... Oh, there's boat oars. <laughs> Should we get in the spirits? Uh, well... Sorry. First game in the spirit is the actual pirate gear again. Because I don't think that's too good. Perfect. Um, 
We'll say this is a pirate bow. Uh, any any of them. We'll just have to rock whatever we pick. Um, ooh, fishy shield. Okay. Yeah. I dig that one. And then just for our utility. Sorry, throwing spear. You no longer are as cool. I, I don't think I've ever seen a long throw throwing spear in this game yet. Could have been removed, but... I... <laughs> I don't know, so. Hmm. Well, these bolts kind of suck. Hey, what is that? Hey. Is that just like an Octorok, but it's long? I don't know, I'll check that out because, well, first. I remember seeing this bottle a long time ago. It helps someone out. Um, fishing got caught in a storm when he had to run into a shelter. Um, this big rock came down and trapped me in here. And using the Bright Plume Seeds as like an SOS. Take this weather to shore. Yeah, so we will follow that. Um, it seems like that's where the good boats are, because I did look at... Well, when I was a bit closer, there were some boats on the island, and... Well... I did see those at one point, so I'm gonna build a dummy boat so we can get a real boat. This isn't the pirate style. I guess there's this. Perfect. What if I put the fan higher? I feel like that's just stupid, but we're gonna do it. Cause there is no consequences. Besides our time. Why did I choose to do that? Um, well, I feel like these parts could be useful when we actually get a boat. <laughs> yeah, this is very stupid. I'm not going to try to break everything, though. Oh, phenomenal. Okay. We'll need, like, a cannon ship, too. Just, uh, you know, have some damagers. And whatnot. Cool. <laughs> no, does that stay? It does stay. I should stop being creative. Okay, so I guess the best way is the boring way. Oh, wait. I, I saw it coming. Yeah, no creativity allowed, just, uh, whatever floats the boat. Huh. This boat sucks. <laughs> yeah. I won't understand the physics, because I don't know the exact weights of everything. It's the assumed weights. And do I know half these parts? No. <laughs> For a long throw thing, they're not going to remove and modifier. Um, well, technically, because like boomerangs can't get long throw, so for those specifically, they had to remove long throw. Now, I could have just been unlucky because I've I've gotten a few traveler spears, but not like some crazy amount, you know. So it's possible that was removed for throwing spears, maybe. But I've probably gotten like six or seven throwing spears with modifiers that didn't have long throw. Oh, I see what that is. That's our throwing spear. It landed perfectly intact. <laughs> I did not catch that. Um. Yeah. Until I get to a suitable part in Tears of the Kingdom. Um. It's like anytime I take like a couple day mental break from the game, it's like, oh yeah. This is how you play. But it was fun. We finished up our video. Um, it was on pristine weapons in the depths. So it was a full like guide on like how they'll spawn, um, how you can get them. Because you can only get pristine weapons when you break the decayed counterparts. And if you're not constantly picking them up as you go along, you'll never have a chance to cycle out. 
So if you're only picking up the good weapons, eventually, um, all that's going to be left is like weak remnants. So you don't want to do that. Also, for those asking about challenge runs, uh, they will happen. I just want to finish more of the playthrough first because it's like there's things probably in my experience in the playthrough that may be helpful towards what happens. So I want to do that. <laughs> We've arrived. <laughs> yeah. But for challenge runs, I... Well, I, I have ideas for the first couple, actually, ready. Um, in terms of amiibo runs, because I get asked about that a lot, from what it seems, it doesn't seem to be as interesting as what Breath of the Wild would be. I'd rather think of new ones, because... I mean, what made Breath of the Wild cool is that there's so much exclusive loot in the amiibo run, so it's like, oh, you could really get a chance at some really awesome different stuff. Um, if you're just using amiibo gear. But in Tears of the Kingdom, all that gear is already available in the game itself. A lot of in the depths, some through quests. Um, so, you know, I, I'm just a little less inclined to do it. And plus, a lot of the drops are going to be paraglider skins, which don't help at all for a challenge run. So if I were to do it, I would have to bend the rules a lot, and it would be more of a fun theme playthrough than a challenge. Which I guess is still okay. I just like, you know... I think there's a lot more other ideas we can do with tiers that are unique to this game. <laughs> so I kind of dummy built something like this a bit ago for the thumbnail, and uh, I didn't really test it. <laughs> but if I were to put a fan, because we need two fans, it's like this fish boat sort of looking thing. Um, we could just place it directly on the back, but I'm kind of feeling like the side, you know? That just looks better, too. There we go. Hmm. The balancing's gonna be a little tricky. I... I can see that. Just, like, one more nudge. That should be perfect. Ish. An awesome thing. Yeah, we literally brought everything over. Didn't even have to try. Ooh. Well, <laughs> it is the, uh, hmm. Let's see. It's made out of wood. Koroks are made out of wood. It's SS Korok. Because, yeah, wood. It's an uncanny reference. <laughs> now, how is this going to work? I have my little sail. It works by working. <laughs> okay. Well, this is good. Hmm. The thing is, I can't really go in any shrines. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my boat here. Oh. <laughs> so, it does lots of damage. Here's to hoping that the boat is strong enough. Ooh. I could go fishing. What if I did a shock emitter on the front of the boat? Will it just kind of auto fish things for me? Because <laughs> I'm liking this boat so far. Okay. Oh my god, I should remove the night about message uh, <laughs> that I'm not reading chat because I am uh, going to try to keep up with it this time. Did I forget? Yes. Hmm. Here, let's let's get to a solid ground and then put that in properly. It says is that ain't gonna work. <laughs> yeah. See, we're a little high. I, I can't really get the rotation in uh, position well right now. Yeah, otherwise the playthrough has been just awesome. We're at, uh, well, I always keep it updated in the description. We're nearing like 200 hours, which is really awesome. Um, we have this region, the, like the Highlands, Satori Mountain. It, it's a couple little select regions we didn't do. That was Sky, right? <laughs> One was doing all the Sky Islands to get all the stages built. Um, 
yeah, you know, just, there's a little couple blank areas on our hero's path. So, really nothing that bad, though. Um, depth's a different story, but there'll be times where we just fly through. Yeah. Also, it's like, I like the pace we played it at, too. I was not keeping up with anything online for pretty much the entire playthrough up until just very recently. Because it's like, I didn't want to just, you know... You know, the community just finds things that kind of breaks the game, and then... A lot of the discoveries aren't really your own, it's just what you find all the time from other people. It's like with a game like this, I like, you know, try to do what I can my first and then look online to see what other people did. I think that's like the most fun way to do it. Also, this is awesome. I think the only thing I knew about early was a sky bike. That's only because my girlfriend showed me. Uh, and yeah, that one's very helpful for dragons in the depths. Scary's gonna activate the bone, just get shocked like a fish. Good thing they're awful. Bad thing my steering's awful. Alright, you can't reverse the fans too well. So we just sit in shame. No. This is a nice boat. <laughs> RSS Korok ship. I don't think you can break the actual bow part, but the raft, yes. What about sail? Bye bye. These guys are fun headshot practice. Beep. Uh oh, he didn't die. Uh, wait. I have a solution. Uh, Zora armor, where are you? <laughs> yes. I just just a helmet actually, but swim speed good. <laughs> See, Zor armor's good for something. He can't catch up. Get me blue Goblin. Go! No, got it! Go, yes! Woohoo! <laughs> nice! Okay. Zora combat. You know, I think in my entirety of playing well, this game and all my Breath of the Wild playthroughs, that might be the first time I killed something with the Zora uh, ability. Gonna be fully honest. But it seemed to multi-hit. I didn't even know that because again, it's very situational use, but if you almost get something dead and then fall in the water, well there you go. So Okay. There's a quadcopter. I think I did hear about that. It's like the sky bike but more fans. Control the direction in reverse. Okay. Just more zonite. Also, yeah, the Zora mask is spin to win Zora edition. Okay. I don't need to pick up every part. Man, this is fun. Yeah, Eventide's the first big objective, but I did see some stuff around. I'm kind of just enjoying the sails. Also, yeah, I love those horn guys. I just fanned them away. Perfect. Also, there's fish, or there's birds flying over something, so it might be fishies. As usually, you can find schools of fish where birds circle. So I'm gonna hope that there's a school of fish. Right, lobster shirt. Wait a second. Speaking of seagulls. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we were forgetting it for so long. I couldn't figure out what the last wing thing was. Because we already got a type of seagull, but not like the normal seagull. Like, we got the cloud seagulls. Oh, perfect, perfect. Get him! Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that one. Because we have one left then. <laughs> so I got some funny bird ones, the big wingspan, side shot. Funny little art shot. Um, the last thing we're missing, okay, the fish ones are hard, um, unless you kind of, oops, you know, bathe them on a Korok pedestal or something. Um, you know, we have one more creature slot, let's just get it. The one I don't care about getting organically is the fish ones, and I think to get Vulfrins you have to go in, like, the jungle or something? I, I don't know, I think I bought some before. 
Do we not have Wolfins? We just never got Wolfin Trouts, it looks like. Not even from like Amiibos. Okay, well that's the last thing we have to get. Then all that is cleared. Um, yeah, creatures went away. Monsters were missing the fire. Uh, Wiz ropes, or the Metro ones rather. The harder ones. And then we're missing one of the training constructs. I'm hoping that we still have a shrine left that has them, because I don't think they respawn. So. Okay. Do fusing shields work the same as fusing weapons for the bonus durability? I haven't fully tested it, but the assumed thought is yes. Uh, but I, I'm not 100% on that. So like, yeah, when you fuse a weapon with something, it adds 25 durability. Um, like for like the bonus durability, but I'm not too sure with shields. That's the assumption though. Look. Oh, there's a Misco treasure in here. Cape. I think the rain did that. Uh, Cape Kale's cliff base cape. Is this like a pirate cave? Is the tide too high right now? Hmm. Maybe. Sometimes we just gotta do something fancy. Okay, so usually when it rains, that increases the tide, but it's not raining, it's just a cave rain. Here, let me let me bright brighten things up a bit. Just just a tad. Hmm. So it's called the Cliff Base Cave. Um. It could be a a little too. Uh, <laughs> Or maybe there's an exit. There's a zone I think blocking it, so it could just be a ruin. Also, I'm having a great time. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe we'll find a clue somewhere, so. Okay. I think that's one that we actually have to come back to. I don't want to know any spoilers on how it's actually done. Because that one seems a little different. <laughs> or maybe we just wrap around. But it seems to relate to something with Eventide itself. Because there's not a single clue or anything. Oh, may maybe this is a clue. No, that's a fan. I think taking it by the water is a not bad idea, though. Hmm. I... <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, probably has something to do with Eventide. That can be exciting. Yeah, I'm not seeing a solution to this puzzle yet. But I did see that from afar, so it's like... Hmm. Okay. Well, there's some other caves that we just couldn't do right away, too. Maybe it's a certain outfit we have to wear and grant us access. Only thing is, is there a reason why there's a, a platform there? It feels like that's an ascent thing. I'm. <laughs> let me let me try once more. <whistles> oh, but oh, you have to like attack it. Wait, 
That doesn't make any sense. Is it the bow? Okay. I don't know. Okay. Well, um. One second. Does not help that we got it cut off. It was the wit. It was the whistle? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, that was probably something I was supposed to figure out Altor, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, um... Yeah. Interesting, it probably would have been, uh... Something. Okay, awesome stuff that we got everything lost now. Trapped, whatever. That's what recalls for. We can get it almost unstuck, I think, if we do it this way. Almost. Hmm. Also, like, whenever I'm solving a puzzle, I'm not reading chat, because there will always be people spoiling stuff. So I didn't reach out during that, because I'm like, I know this is a puzzle and someone's going to spoil it, so. Yeah, if I'm ever solving a puzzle, I generally won't look at chat for that reason, because it only takes one person to spoil a puzzle. Also, this is, like, fantastic right now. Okay. Well, thankfully that ledge. Took you, like, three hours to figure that out? Was there actually a... Okay, th there, there definitely is a... Uh... Way to solve that. Also, okay. Raft, I'm so sorry. You are kind of fun, but you are causing so many issues. And I am the culprit behind all of them. Okay. Well, I guess we're sailless. We don't need the sails when we're just, uh. Yeah, that's fine. We'll find another sail. This is very cool, though. At first I saw it, but I was more, like, just taken back by the door opening. Also, I like how fish die, like, 100 meters away. Pirate. Wow. <laughs> oh. The treasure was taken. Well, it was treasure hunters, probably. Like, pirates. <laughs> Quite clearly, uh, there, there are pirates, so. Hmm. Well, well, well. <laughs> now we're in the boat of what do we break? Master Sword, because we have a billion other weapons. So we're just flying with Tulin right now, because uh, I, don't, I don't need the whole party here. <laughs> don't need my game to just completely bug out. Just like trying, I'm like, oh, well, we took the sneaky route. <laughs> there we go, and then just get to climbing. Yep, that was unintentionally quite good. I can't rest on that one, so we're gonna turn into a frog. Hello. Uh oh. Hello. See, now it works. His friends are a little spooked out, though. Come on, get alerted. Or. Patterns. Oh. <laughs> Failed pattern. Ow! <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Too peaceful. Yeah. I always wait till their head just bops down to a. Fixed level. So I can guarantee the headshot. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> this is so cool, though.
chest. Oh. That's even cooler. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It, it gives me like the pirate vibes, you know. If you want to look like some uh, silly One Piece pirate, maybe. So yeah, cool Olympa. We got two. <laughs> uh, the other one was in the Dueling Peaks. So one there, one here. Um, <laughs> this is so cool though. Wait, okay. Yeah, we're missing the hood, the most OP part. Um, <laughs> can swap one green armor for the next. Damn. <laughs> we're like an even slicker froggy now. Well, okay. Boat's over. <laughs> Level two in a weapon just instantly break crates. Not barrels though, but just they're always designed to break crates because that's how it was in Breath of the Wild. Metal crates are the same way, but only two animal weapons can break them. Or hammers. Sorry, Bodor. I guess I could have fused you, but... You know, let's make some totally junk weapons. Yeah. There we go. Freeform. You can grant an arrow still. For a while, I haven't been prioritizing box pickups because we've always been full. But we've been... Draining pretty fast. Ah. Oh, there's stolen loot. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like the third Lionel Bow chest I found in this game. That's just kind of surprising, you know? I don't need two units. Yeah. Dragon Bow and Bow were saving for the, one of the bonus hack upsets because they are just so overpowered in this game. Because you can just fuse bone type things, the already powerful weapons, to make just OP things. It seems like everyone figure out pretty fast, even on, on themselves, that like that's like the most powerful weapons you can make in the game. And we haven't even tried making it with uh like the Royal Guard stuff, which was my assumption, which is what would be the strongest weapon in the game. If you put a high level Royal Guard weapon with a high level bone parts. And according to what I've been seeing, what's been popping up, yeah, that is true. So because it only makes sense, because I've seen all the weapons in the game, and those would have the highest stats. Also, yeah, I, I doubt if I do a fire, it's going to work. <laughs> it, like, completely didn't work. Yeah, this is cool, though. I like the pirate ships we did. There was the one in Lurlin, and then there was a three in Apollo, actually. Okay, so what sort of uh, hidden puzzle will there be here? I don't know. Something. <laughs> I think it was just its own area now. Now I'm going to overthink the little uh, whatever area is because it's fun. But there is hidden loot. That was moving, wasn't it? Wait, can we raft ourselves? I think potentially. Okay, if Tulin reach. Wait, bubble. Huh? I was looking for the bubble frog cave. I guess he was just hopping. It pays to be slow. Okay. Let's try this again with Tulin, because that could. I mean, obviously, you could just put a fan on it or something normal. Yeah. Okay, you can do that. Uh, it wasn't very impressive, though. Um, <laughs> just, just one more, okay? You got this? Yeah? Okay. Directly to the chest. Write it in. Should be just enough to grab it. Yay. Slow, but worthy. Oh. I guess it's technically better than this. <laughs> okay, let's make something funny with this. Uh, long throw? Those are fun. Sadly, if, yeah. Um, it's like, do we just make another Pikmin sword with it? 
or hmm. the Gliac parts are nice, but uh, these are just high supply. 69 of the Nadros. Yeah, you can just keep making these if you want. <laughs> They're too good. Um, and for this, if you do, you know, <laughs> we're just going to keep making a bunch of similar ones just for like, I don't know. Just to really go OP in a few. But really, I like these Light Dragon uh, Soldier ones because they charge really fast and heal. So just fast charge. Yeah. What if we do it to a fish? No. Let's go. Get the fish. Get the fish. No. But I did go further. I miss having my Revali scale. Okay, let's just build zone attack like we're supposed to in this game. Um, so froggy sets. I don't know, I just have too much fun like just running around in this game. Just, you know, I'm gonna put so many playthroughs into it, but even just the mere act of running and climbing and getting stupid chests is always a jam. I didn't see the other side of the cave, but I can't guarantee there's anything. Nice. Gonna die the froggy armor green on Hateno. Nice. We did everything but the headpiece, which I guess it matches the boots that way. Um, I only did it that way because I didn't have the headpiece until like last stream. Oh, bye, lizard. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> no, I think we're good actually. But I do like just kind of brightening from afar. Okay. It was a slight indents, but that was really it. Like fusing two gloom weapons together. I mean, might as well. I, I never really picked them up because it's like there are so many ways to deal damage in a later game, I feel, without the risk of, you know, getting your own heart strained. But they do look awesome. And again, good damage is good, so. I can totally see that. Also, goodbye boat. Oh wait, never mind. Good goodbye boat. It's been right there the entire time. We are just missing our sail. That totally works. <laughs> well, well, perfect. <laughs> You wish you would have used the voice actor for Koga from Age of Calamity. Yeah, I mean, I get, I get why they didn't. Um, it's cool, especially these newer Zelda games, that not every character has a voice. Just like the main ones for cutscenes and stuff. But I don't know, just kind of the allure of just like Koga's grunts and whatnot. It's there's a certain charm to it. It's sort of like like Pen in this game, you know. He's a big character with the stable stuff, but he has no voice actor. Or Cass from Breath of the Wild. Um, so yeah. Also, this is beautiful. <laughs> nice sunrise. You know, the only thing I know about Eventide is that it is a pirate base. Um, nothing else. So, God, I'm still gonna look around for potential treasure. That was interesting, though. I'm, I'm sure there's like some way to figure out the whistle thing. Cause that was just beginner's luck. I'll oh, see so yeah, on the subject of champion abilities I I do love them um but I like what this game has more just stuff where it's encouraged that you're activating on them disabling them we're in breath of the wild they basically had to have or both spheres and Druid's protection off at all times because it was just too much going on and of course I didn't need at least in this game it's like funny to have all the people running around but if you don't you just select certain ones you do want to have um and their abilities are all cool but more manually activated than something that auto recharges and I, I don't know it's just it's hard to describe the feel of why something's good it just it works really well in this game or in breath of the wall yeah, i will miss revali scale but you know now we have more more creative ways of getting elevation Okay, this is interesting. I was looking forward to this. 
Yeah, welcome to everyone. Hopefully you're having a good uh, Wednesday. Beep. <laughs> We're beeping these guys away. With, like the aviator hood on, like, okay. About to fly like a plane or something. Um, not quite that. I, I do think that the Wind Waker tunic looks great. Because it's piratey, you know, it has a lobster. And there's not even lobsters in the game. <laughs> okay, I really want to goof in here for a bit. <laughs> Again, we're not like a One Piece esque pirate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been tied. Well, doesn't take out my weapons. There's already a camp. Maybe this time will be the time that we actually floor him. Maybe. Nope. We were. And then we're going to try it again. And the Tulin's going to kill him before anything happens. Like he always does. But wait. Yeah. Wait. No. No. no I got to get away. Ow. Okay. <laughs> he just smacked into it. Bye. Oh, no. Tulin, this is my kill. <laughs> you can't, like whip the controller down anymore because it's controlled. You can only damage by like dropping it. Okay, do we need one of those? Not really. Hmm. I'm rocking that blue aesthetic. Uh oh. Right, the range is good. It's not perfect. Afraid of breaking my stuff. Okay. Well, this is the power of nature hammers. This is low, so we'll just use it up. <gasps> Wait. What do you mean it broke? It was on fire. <gasps> Forgot to last a total of 0.3 seconds, and then it's gone. Why did I do that? My wood shields. It's okay, we'll get more. That's the beauty of it. All right, give me my one whack, please. So good. <laughs> I had those things for so long. But we still have the bunny shield, and that one I'm not getting rid of. Just not good at the timing out. <laughs> That's okay. Pretty good. That's more my speed, though. Stay down. We died to the one we fooled. Or our shield's dead. Nice. Okay. Now we're going to take a bounty club, because you never know. We need the enemies to get jumpy. Does it work for objects? I don't think so. I do need to experiment more, more with bounty weapons. Okay, um, two-handed. Yeah, this is a basic, just generic hammer weapon. It's only a flux construct core too. So you are a loop breaker. Satisfying. I'm gonna break the other one. Oh, but there's a homing cart. <laughs> if only they're smart enough to operate tech. Oh, but they never finished high school. Or middle school, for that matter. They're too dumb to work a simple machine. You just smack it. <laughs> I guess we saw all this stuff first. Is that fire or. Okay, it is fire. Hmm. Once more. <laughs> it like wakes its tail. I love that. 
what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the next enemy for me. Just sniff him out. So I'm loving this. Like, literally, Evan's Hide makes the perfect pirate island. Yeah, you just do your thing, okay? It's not the most power, but, you know. The arson abilities make it great. Fire Goat! Doesn't even kill. He endured that. Okay, it's not like I want to be evil. Doesn't seem like there's any enemies. I was like, is it going to be surrounded? No. I wonder what this useless rock is. Also a gloom pit. Also... Is that one of the monster control things? Because I know they were fighting the pirates at one point. Um, did we ever find them? Were they being... No, I remember someone pointed them out by uh, one of the stables, which, where was it? Highland stable? Yeah. Someone, par like, pointed out, like, the, one of the captain squads taking down a pirate gang, and it was in these waters, but there's always two of them, so maybe they do this one first and then come to Eventide? That's possible. I just didn't go over there yet, so it's like... I don't know. Also, hi, bees. Hearts, like always. <laughs> All for our bees. They take care of the world, we take care of them. This is pearl hunting. Two birds, one... Uh... Stone. The arrows are stone. Bye bye. <laughs> that is why dude looks bows are great. Gonna charge? He he did try, so I feel guilty about that. Also, hi frog. I just love seeing all the great wildlife. These are stun arrows. Uh, that's a kill arrow. Ah, okay, and you go too. <laughs> not dealing with another situation of uh, having to pop up my Zora armor. So we're not just endless fodder. Is there a bunch of is that bats going on there? Is that a cave? Or is that just a bunch of birds? And I know no difference. Not too sure, but we will go around. Okay. I just remember this area having a... Well, Breath of the Wild had a chest. Oh, there's something on the back. This is so cool. Sorry, I'm geeking. We'll check out everything, obviously. Oh, that, that Korok's book in it. Zoom, zoom, race car. What? It escaped. <laughs> it made the noise and everything. You cheat. You cheat. No, get up. There we go. <laughs> okay. Well, that was cool. Can Tulin blow them to the other side? Maybe if we angled it right. So you're not getting away 40s. Still used to the double shock orb. Because, yeah, for whatever reason, just like does a single one and then off one of the things you hit does a second. And it hurts you, so it's like. I don't know. I just know these change shock a lot in this game, and I haven't fully figured it out, but I just know from a basic combat standpoint, it's nerf. Because you used to be able to do those, like, multi-shot shock arrow volleys, and if you had a five-shot bow, you shot, like, a wet or metallic surface, each one of those shock orbs would do 40 damage in Breath of the Wild. 
It's so like per hit, you can do like 300 damage per hit to a group of enemies. It was super OP, and uh, now they nerfed it, so just all your shock stuff only applies once at a time. Oh, he floated. Okay. I, what? No! The wind killed it? <laughs> I thought just by going in there I would have just died. Because, you know, like when a, an insect, like a sticky lizard, falls in like a, a puddle, it's like, they're bye bye. I guess that time was just barely okay. I'll see. I will take that cave once we have our boats again. We will. Most definitely. Hi. Hello. I think he's spaced out <laughs> a little bit. He's like, ooh, <laughs> a little head turn. Late, but great. Oh, I was trying to. Oh, I guess it kind of worked. Besides that last balloon. I'm sorry, balloon. Ooh. Skipping rocks. So I see where the. F I see why this is here. It's an instant island transporter. You want to hit me? It almost did, actually. Uh, a bit of dumb luck. Okay, I'm already liking this. He built up in the jungle. Uh-oh. Oh, he just instantly attacks. <laughs> All the stuff I wanted is gone. Oh, actually, that's for the best. Turn left. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that bullet time in there. So we'll take thistles and all that. Okay, there's a person there. I will talk to him. Uh, I wonder what the depths is going to be like here. Because, yeah. There is a depth of it. Because <laughs> otherwise it would be inaccessible. <laughs> Just shot the crate. So we're just using up weapons. Do we use a Brazonite bow now? Yeah, I guess so. Pirate tech. And yes, I don't mind using up this. Just too many royal weapons, too many hammer attachments. Just use stuff up. There will always be more. Yeah, a lot of lookout stuff, which is good. A lot of trees. You throw rocks at me here? If you're smart, you would pick up a bow. Okay. Well, <laughs> do you want to do a little ice battle or. You know, no, I gotta heal up. I'm sorry. Fast one. Oh, no! At least it's still healed. There we go. Just so he doesn't pick up his weapon so I can charge. There we go. Give me, give me life. <laughs> uh oh. He hurt himself a little bit there. This is so cool. There's a skull thing there. Yeah, all this Zone stuff that seems like a launching platform. There's a cave. I'm okay. I'm there's a lot of stuff here. This is really cool. We're three trial orbs in Eventide. It's three monster camps, it looks like. Yeah. My 
favorite way of healing. And the soldier weapons are the best for that, is the charge. It's about the speed of the heal. Who could you be? You want to go home? Oh yeah, that was the person, uh... Wait, it's Sesame! <laughs> okay. Mr. You must have a death wish to make your way to this island. Um, okay, in the Gerudo, the canyon area in Breath of the Wild, um, there was like sesame, flax, like, there was basically a bunch of people all named after seeds, which a lot of people didn't even pick up on. Uh, but those are the people they had to like save by going up like the canyon, like walkways and stuff. So yeah, it's nice seeing what their next adventure is in this game. Um, heard the rumors. This is where the pirates that attacked Lurland Village hide out. Mission to locate the pirates' hideouts for the monster control crew. Ah. Hmm, so maybe this, yeah, it must tie into the monster control crew stuff. I just figured, because it seems like that control crew is about pirates. And we didn't do any of those yet, so. Has three monster strongholds. And, okay. <laughs> Thank you for pointing out the dead camps. Hmm. I know there's a cave in back, but I saw that and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Seeking the pirate hideout. We'll wait for him then to go in that cave, because I assume that is their little headquarters. Sorry, this is like really cool. I'm digging this so far. So yeah, it's a trial in its own way. But now it's just a trial of your might and everything you've accumulated. A bit of a hack, sure, but it gets the job done. <laughs> Thanks. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. Um. I guess up there. It's interesting why there's so much Zonai stuff here too. I mean, could relate because there's like a sky island above, so it's like, oh, I was just looking at you. <laughs> We went there to fight the King Gliak that's above, and that was cool. I think that's where we got our final Sage's Will in the game. Because we got all of them before the finale. I didn't miss a single one, which I'm mildly proud of that fact. Because uh, I generally thought I did. Like, when I started getting like the final ones, I'm like, oh, okay, there's must be a fifth Sage in the game, which I figure because the five fingers, the five rings. Um, but I was like, there's definitely at least one or two that we missed. But no, I guess I was thorough enough on the islands. But I loved him so much. There was a few similar copy and paste islands. Uh, you know, just with like the shrine quests. But just the atmosphere makes it so majestic and fun. Okay. Now it is time to go to the top island. I love how they actually put the springs here. Which two is fine. Personally, I'm a fan of three though. It just barely worked. And I can just use it like that, and it'll be pretty decent. However, the best way to actually do it is, uh, well, Super Spring. Because if you can hold it down, the force will just be very great. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! And the more you add, it adds like a little more, but yeah, I mean, two is pretty good. Three adds a bit more. Four, you can argue is good still, too. Also, did we kill that one Bacoblin from that one camp? I kind of saw him fall, and then I'm like, okay, bye-bye. We'll have to recheck it out. No, okay, he's, he's finished. I, I, went, I did stop brain him. <laughs> That was excessive for no results. Eh? What the? Oh, he dropped his shock fruits. Okay, couple for you. We're gonna heal fully up. We're gonna need it. Uh, 
Okay, he's going for Tulin. He's got a shock weapon in the rain, which is very far from good. Thank you. Yep, quick charge! I love these soldier weapons. Yeah. Okay. Well, almost full. Uh, banana it out, but it's a little too excessive. So we're gonna stake an acorn. Stake horn. Hmm. It takes a bit to recharge. Okay. That was just because it's fun. Oh, long throw. Oh, neat. See, it's constantly raining here. There's the orbs I was looking for. Sometimes. Okay. This is just so much fun to just roam around and do stuff. I always have a great time. Uh, shoot. Should I check out the top first? Might as well. Oh, no rain. I guess it's a dry spot. Oh, I see. It was up. <laughs> I was at the angle where I just saw a giant rock. I'm like, oh, that's one of these eyeball ones. <laughs> uh, didn't I try this before? It just it just throws really long. For whatever reason, it's kind of a weird weapon. Yeah, it just goes very far out and then comes back. Yeah, you know maybe I like that. Wait. I think I tried it in a normal and I didn't like it as much. That just seems to have a bit more pep to it. Yeah, it, it's around the same time it just quite literally goes further and faster to compensate for that more distance. So that's neat, you know. Uh, should we just use it because it's cool in there? Oh, uh, we could. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't really need the shock one, do I? Okay, let's take that bird glider again. I like how they have an extra, so it's like... I'm going to retest that out. Or what? Okay. Sure. It was like the beginning of the game last time we did that, so... Unintentional. Not even good. Should we just report back, or... I don't know. Yeah, let's report back so we can just boat. I love the tool and thing. I found out recently, too, that that's actually a... A bit of a exploit, which I didn't even know. If you do the gust and then kind of back out of it and drop. Like, I guess the physics don't fully add up, but I always did it because I... Did it early on, I'm like, oh, you can get more distance this way, that's cool. Okay, apparently it is technically an exploit. Uh, I just always did it because I found it the one time, I'm like, oh, that's cool. If you just drop into it, it's like you get more momentum. Clear with the monster strongholds. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I saw a pirate ship coming in through the back. Hmm. Yep. Secret. Yeah, fully eradicate. What should I do? What should I do? Uh, we'll get them. A little tree root that is not rooted. It's it's flowing there. The upheaval did a number. Well, I guess we can't blow it out. That was cool, though. Just three big camps. Good test of power. I haven't been to the depths area here, but I know it's a, one of the later game ones that spawn uh, the Royal Guard weapons. Which is one of the few that do. I just had to look that up when we are doing our depths video. So. Okay, I don't have the cool... I mean, it's still a cool boat, but... Okay. 
it'll be green instead of wood. Um, I don't think this was a good one at all, actually. This is really stupid. Let's get rid of that one. It didn't work. Um, in the meantime, yes, the boat. The boat, the boat, the boat, the boat, the boat, the boat, the boat. Okay. Only 21. That's a steal. <laughs> okay. Let's see what awaits at the fortress. Uh, I don't realize, yeah, we pretty much did everything. Maybe a little on the coastline. I don't know. There's always those little things. And green boat. Something, yeah, I like the raw aesthetic of the normal material. Nice. The captain ship. <laughs> I'm inside Island Cave. That was the perfect place for one, too. I'm sorry, I just love this. It's like. Last time I got pirates in a Zelda game, they were Gerudos, and that was like Majora's Mask. Maybe something else I'm forgetting. Uh. Hear that shrine music. It's not reward time yet. See the little repair bay. Trying best to get the zone stuff. Haven't quite figured it out yet. Ooh, actually a good boomerang throw. Hey. Oh, it just. <laughs> It clicked away a rock that someone threw. That's kind of funny. Um, sky shroom for the quarters. Okay. Well, very back. <laughs> you gonna pick up your friend? He sure is. Oh no, he's gonna. Ah, not like that. Ah, I don't know how to do that one. <laughs> okay, they're burning. That's fine. Um, you go do that. I need to charge it more. Got him. <laughs> yes. Uh-oh. You're gonna throw from there? Sure. Do your worst. And that is pretty bad. Thanks for listening. We're just gonna say that worked. Oh. Ooh, and drop the ball there. Mm. Thought I added like wind or something. Okay. Okay. Clear this guy's out first. He fell down to the lower deck level. Oh, someone just, they're just burning in fire. Just Maybe we should just let him. Okay, well, these guys burn up. Um, <laughs> the health bar. Okay. Having a field day. Oh, frog. So the burn stopped. I'm trying to use the Zonite bow. Okay, that's a little nice one. I don't know who it was probably just one of the guys burning up honestly. The health bar doesn't discriminate though. So I like like the monster heads on him. Ugh. No. Okay, boat. Coming in handy. This is a boarding party. Oh. There we go. Yeah, boarding party! This is what the sale's for, yes! It actually had usefulness, for once. <laughs> yes, I got the shroom in this back! That was like the one time I wasn't trying to either. Ah. Defensive position. I prefer both. Okay. I guess it's... 
us time. <laughs> Let's do a three damage and <laughs> yeah. Okay, go in defense mode. This is a little too cool. No. Um, if we get a big crusher weapon, I can do a lot at once. Please, all three of them. Yes! Oh my God! Yes! Ah, uh, yes! In the fire for him. That actually worked. Bye bye. Oh, damn it! Bye bye. Thanks. Ah, <laughs> that's okay. Shrine's coming up. That's full restore. I love getting them clumped together like that. Well, there we go. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> the deflected rocks actually do a surprising amount of damage compared to the other deflections in this game. There's not a lot of deflection based moves, so I can probably see that. Although I don't know the exact damage, but against the silver, it's definitely not a lot. But well, cool, regardless. I don't know, it's just fun like pairing stuff, so it's like I can never get sick of that. Also, yeah, this whole animal is just awesome. I just love all the bases that they add around the map. Um, this cave has been awesome. It's like, yeah. Classic One Piece Pirate Adventure in Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> About One Piece, I am only like... Did I miss something or was that a rare deposit and I got nothing from it? Sorry, One Piece later. Well, uh... <laughs> I think I was just talking through and not thinking, but I believe I got nothing. It could have been one flint and then just busted, because it kind of seemed like something broke. Like that little extra red spark. I don't know. That could just be me overcomplicating. Anyways, uh, yeah, One Piece. I am like 15 episodes in. It's actually really good, and I see why it's popular. So I know enough about it to be like, oh, that's actually really cool. Um, Because there's... It, I don't want to say I'm hard to please with anime. There's just a couple that I really like, and everything else is just kind of like, okay, to me. Um, but yeah, that is, might be one of those ones I really like. So, from what I've seen so far, very fun characters in writing. Okay, I hear this shrine, and it is tempting me. Stabilizer. I can always play around with the sillies. But I need the treasure. There it is. Oh, that's so cool. It's literally built to it. And you have to exit through that. I guess so. Go in. No. <laughs> we'll never get the loot. I guess if you just wrap around. That just made it inconvenient. I'm like, sure. Forgetting tool exists. Or, you know, you can also build to it. Um, there's so many loose little planks that it's like, why not? Sometimes I like doing things the intended way. I don't need that. One's up here. Yeah. That's obviously what I meant to do. Okay. We're good. It's like when they build a little bridge to get in to their loot room. Oh. They're making little porgies. Bananas from the Yiga clan. Or the island probably itself. They're not always Yiga. I like that one. I heard the music before the... Um, you know, big battle kick then. Yay the money. Got the bubble frog, which is very hidden. 
feel the pirate's booty. Banana gem. Banana gem, bananas. You have to have just the great pairings like that. It is a phenomenal pairing. I was like, what's that moblin noise? That's me. This mask. I think it's the first time using a mask in this game. I don't know, just kind of... <laughs> it was like right next to it in the inventory thing, so I'm like, let's put it on. Pirate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> think you can solve 90% of Tears of the Kingdom puzzles with the long bridge. Yeah. Um. <laughs> see, the way I see it is that every game just has like one big way to break it. Um, with Breath of the Wild stasis launching, you can solve like half the puzzles in the game just by, you know, stasing an object, climbing on it, and letting it launch wherever you need to. Um, in this game, it's recall elevators. So if you move something with Ultra Hand to a certain level, then move it down, you can recall it so it elevates you back up. Um, so you can go up there. So wherever you can reach an object, you can technically go in this game. That breaks so many puzzles, and then for outdoor things, um, Basically, any sort of aerial vehicle, especially the sky bike. So between recall elevators and sky bikes or air stuff, you can break so many puzzles. Uh, which is why sometimes I like doing just the intended, or just using the parts that are there, because um, you know I love experimenting for broad travel, and I think the depths is perfect for that. But even for like sky islands, they all kind of have their own way to do it, and you could definitely do most of them just by sky biking. But that will get old. So sometimes there's like a there's like a cool like spring puzzle once where you had to build like a certain like board across like a gap and then put a spring in the center because above that specific spot in the center you could like go through a crack in the ceiling. I don't know. It's like very cool stuff like that that I guess technically you get a sky bike to get to or fly, but it's more fun using the actual parts that are there. So, which yeah, it's a big theme in this game in Breath of the Wild where everything's tech. It can be very easy, but uh. Yeah, self-limiting is okay. Because you kind of have to. So, like, even in Breath of the Wild, uh, like the Blight Cannons, you could BS them all besides Thunder Blight just by just raining hell with arrows. Um, especially, you know, like Water Blight, who could be very fun fights, but if you just spam with arrows, you can. Or if you try to be more, like, tactful and hop around and learn parries against the attacks, it's... Like, a lot of the Blights are very fun to refight, but if you're only doing arrow spam, they're generally not very fun to refight. So the experience is like what you make it. It's like, if you really are struggling with something, there is a way that you can just bypass it, so you're not just stumped there. But if you want to get really crafty, do some do something very skilled or kind of out of the box, you can do that too. And that's why I like this game. It's very approachable and broad, while not... Uh, you know, just cutting off certain people who can't do certain things. So, yeah. The game design is very well-rounded like that. But yeah, so we're good. A cave hidden around the back of the island? There's a pirate ship. Yeah. Like a one-man monster control crew. <laughs> I'm part of the crew, and I still lost my nerve. What is the token of gratitude? That is an amazing token. Uh, <laughs> we're expecting something that rare. <laughs> Where's the other part? Maybe someone else got it. Okay. The more scaredy sesame. But yeah. Courage is best when you inspire others to be. So yay. Um, well, that was very cool. Also, I see a bunch of seagulls there. I forgot to check out the last one, but... Are those seagulls implying that there are fishies? I could have just hit the wrong spot. Usually it's like a big school of something. Okay, well we have a boat, because we'll have to boat out to go to our next destination, if we want to. But our first destination, uh, <laughs> so that was really cool. Who's down here? Discovery. Um. Discovery thing went away. Okay, Evitat Island Chasm. I know I just did that, but we are going to go with skydiving because it's cool. Down we go! <laughs> Probably one of the smallest steps areas. 
I have a bit of glowy on me. <laughs> it is very dark. I mean, there's likely only one shrine. Or, light rut. Because, yeah. So it's a matter of getting to that one light rut. Because if there's only one shrine, there's one light rut. What sort of challenges await down here? Sorry, that, that is instantly required. Um, well first, I will take any of these. Soldier broadsword is unneeded, but... Yeah. Okay, so it's step stuff. You know, I'm just gonna go through it and then mark it with the guy pen. Because any of these have the potential of being... Well, there's a lot of different stuff that can spawn here, but I can go to Royal Guard, which is something I've never seen before the Pristines. So yeah, after a Blood Moon, we can come back. But if we didn't pick that up and toss it, then... Well, it wouldn't reroll. <gasps> is there a Coliseum down here? <gasps> Lone Island Coliseum. Okay, we're going with the minor stuff, because it is dark. Also, I love just wearing the hair. But I don't want to drain my rupees. Otherwise, I would do just the hair aesthetics. You know what? Screw it. Let's have a little chandelier in this battle. How about that? Does that count? Here. A little, little one right, like, there. I gotta decorate the arena first. Because even if we're not using a... Well, specific type of weapon, I do like using the bone armor in here, because we get our own glow. Can I do that with a bone sword? I can, technically. Yeah, so why not? I don't know. <laughs> that, uh, we go Mulduga parts. I don't know. So I'm in that phase right now, it's like, ooh, what could I do? I like these things, the Stalnox horns. They're just best in the spear type. Skirt, we're doing something like this, Stalnox Horn, just because it's kind of fun. There we go. Nothing too crazy good, but... What type of enemy could be here? <laughs> this is the Bacoblin? Okay, fair. I thought that would have been the, the Colosseum, like, the one under the actual Colosseum. Or could that be Lionel? Because the Colosseum used to have the Lionel in it. We found the, the Horriblin one. Um... What were all of them? Horblin, Moblin, uh, and then the Hinox one. Yeah, screw it. We're just going bone mode. Okay, don't get poked. Oh, they're double speed. Okay. I was almost not prepared for that. You can tell I'm having a very hard time. Get out of my way. Why am I bothering with you like that? Yeah, they just rank up. Uh, and then there's a big phase at the end. Oh, I'm screwed. <laughs> it's like a perfect top over it, too. If anything, it's me more so toying with them because it's silly. <laughs> it's a little one on one battle. Look, our patterns match. <laughs> he has like the white stripes on him. So it's funny that there's only one silver enemy in this phase. It's like, really? Oh, he has a Pikmin. Oh, never mind. That was a Pikmin sword. It's just shock fruits. Yeah, that's too OP. Literally not even attack up. I wonder what's the reward we'll get though. Okay. <laughs> Until then, you handle the rest. Oh. Uh-oh. Silent yell. Silent but deadly. I ain't gonna use the flurry. Just <laughs> perish. There we go. 
Very disappointed they didn't use the boss bokoblins. Yeah, it's very formulaic from the others. So I don't know. There's probably a Lizelfus one and maybe Lanero. I saw most of Lanero, but then again, I thought I saw a good portion of Elden. There was one of those. So who knows? Um, this will be some sort of armor. Oh, <gasps> Midna. Oh, it's gloom resistance now. I was like, is this going to return? Because that was the ancient stuff. Because the diamond circle got repurposed for attack up. Wait, this being gloom resistance, it's like, yeah. The different realm, the twilight realm, the depths, gloom, I don't know. Um, yeah, when she, war, when she fought alongside the hero of twilight. It's literally an ancient powerful re relic. But it's just gloom resistance in this game. That's cool. Sadly, these things don't stack with the full things, but I don't know. That's awesome. I love the Twilight Princess stuff. For now, though, that's electric broadsword. One hit of electric. Well, we're doing pretty good then. I almost forgot about that one. Um, I need like a couple more. Uh, the Tingle Hood and. I don't know, just assorted green tunics. Like, like we're doing pretty good, so. Well, that's all the Breath of the Wild stuff. I still need one more of each, the Fire Dragon and Frost Dragon. Um, the Jewelry I didn't fully get, because I got kind of disappointed, because uh, it doesn't actually adapt to Link's hairstyle. Uh, it just uses the Breath of the Wild, like, full look with that. Um, oops. So, like, that's his normal hair. I thought it actually would have, his hair would have stayed down. But now it just literally uses the Breath of the Wild like version where he puts up everything. Even though it's jewelry, not jewelry and hair tie. Like, would it be cool if he actually wore the jewelry with his hair down? Like, I don't know, that'll just look awesome. So, sad. Okay, hmm. neat. Let's ascend out of here and get a vantage point to. Yeah. You need to look under locations relevant to battles. That's where the Coliseums like to hide. Um, I was trying to find that, but I was a little confused because, you see, there was one in Elden, right? Scorching Coliseum. Here there was a lizard. I, I don't know. I guess the lizard in one of the lakes, there was like the Divine Helm there. Wait, could that have been uh, the Igneo Talus? Or like the Igneo Talus Titan from Breath of the Wild? I mean, that that may not be the reason why it's there, but that's technically what it would be under. Um, okay, Coliseum, Coliseum. I think I'm going to do that next. Just just take a detour to do that, because uh, it's like, I gotta see. I'm not sure, yeah. There was another one somewhere. Oh, yeah, um, the Arbiter's Grounds, which that makes sense. Desert Coliseum, Arbiter's Grounds, also the jungle. So... Yeah, skeleton without the hood. Yeah, I like the dust set. This one's very interesting and just dark and creepy. Very spooky. We'll get more of these offerings. Oh, there's our light root. <laughs> Makes sense. And there's a way up too, which is nice. <gasps> Pristine giant boomerangs. Okay. Well, the one we had did excellent. I didn't even pick it up. Uh, oops. I need a bouncy stick. I I, I knew I know who to call. Them. But yeah, I did not find one of these yet either. Right. Perfect picture. Nope. Take a little smiley face for him. There we go. I like being a little bit of sparkle. Not too much, just a little bit. There we go. 161, so we have 14 left. We're doing good. That's the biggest one. Besides that, we have just two more monsters. Um, I still need the hero shield. Yeah, Gerudo stuff we'll get pristines of. Really, just a lot of pristine stuff that we didn't get yet, but with time for sure. 23 damage though, nice. <laughs> Not 
do we use this? Sure. I do prefer our blizzard rods, but I guess since we have this, why not? Frost emitter. Aha. Frost boomerang. That was perfect. <laughs> Um, oh, they're throwing bombs, actually. Here, you can have the bomb. One at a time. Oh. Beep. Okay, get him off. This high horse. Chill out. Okay, now they're all safe and cozy in there. Uh, see, I will use up that stealth weapon, because I'll forget otherwise. And then we'll switch to the Master Sword or something. <laughs> Bye bye. Oh, I was early. I was okay. Just one for one. Crack them out. <laughs> the kick and get the other guy too. Yes, there we go. Satisfying. Hello. Oh no. Oh, it's close. Nice. It is fun kind of just doing sillies. Okay. Now I'm just at the phase where it's like, if I half damage a weapon, I'm just gonna keep using it up till it is a goner. <laughs> Don't ask how that one worked. about the lizard lakes of Pluto says that the lower lizard is the hunter and that's the one the Coliseum is under. Interesting. Okay. And there was a monster control base. That's interesting. Okay. I didn't pick up on that one. So. Yeah. It's like, I think my second uh, one that I did was the, uh, well, it was the Quark one, which didn't have a reference. So I'm like, oh, okay, maybe some of them are just random. So that was my chalked up theory. RM. <laughs> it's gotta have at least four syllables. Oh, see, yeah, it does take up like the whole depths. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Or I meant the, the Coliseum portion. I just couldn't tell the scale from here. I'm like, okay, so how much does it actually take up? Okay, but nice. From what I remember, those are the actual. I think those are the only two light roots there. Also, yeah, it literally lit up that. Oh, that's gonna be cool. That's gonna be very cool. Um, should we see this labyrinth? I feel like I put it off for a while and I feel like I shouldn't put it off anymore. Just to do something depth related before we head back to the surface, do some more pirate stuff. Yeah, I will. So let's do this and then let's go uh, maybe to Lurlin. Lurlin's cool. Uh, we get all the freebie stuff, which it's been a while since we've gotten our rewards um so we'll do that and then kind of i guess take on one of those monster control things that that are there mm. yes it's the best way to travel i'm <laughs> cases like this is where we sky bike because with depths, it's very broad. Although I do love this region. The whole under plateau. Um, well, it's like the whole tr just trial of getting all the things on the surface and building little vehicles to get them around. I don't know, I thought that was neat. It kind of reminded me of how the construct factor is, like the Minru dungeon. Uh, with how you had to, uh, you know, it's like you sell the little wing in the dungeon and then build a little vehicle contraption to move that part to the center. Okay. 
such a cool area with the giant bargainer statue. I wonder if there's going to be any more challenges that give like a whole heart piece as a reward. Is that one I don't know about? Did I do the ego base? I didn't. There's a Yiga base. It looks like a Yiga base I didn't do. Okay, let's do these two first, then Coliseum. But we'll have some fun. A little Dazzle Fruit. Gro Grove of Time. Cool. Okay. These guys will be out of time soon. Dodge is still okay. <laughs> Should not tool in. That's gonna do much. I love just trading back and forth. Good things come to an end. <laughs> Again. In case there's a really good weapon, we can keep it. Because we now know about Rock Octorox and how they can repair weapons. When I saw that, I was literally geeking. I was like, oh. <laughs> they really got a glow up in this game. Functionality. Oh. Ever means facing a mean fate. <laughs> okay. That was just because it was funny. I didn't need to hurt you. I wanted to. Bye. Oh, good finish. I see this is what the Thoring Spears are for. Oh, wait, no, I think Tulin just bodied the other guy. Yeah, it tends to happen. Tulin doing his thing, but that is a big pet. Can you not? Like, can you not? Wait. No, on the weapon. What? Right. I'm trying to fuse it. You, know, you don't even deserve a fuse, just die. <laughs> wow. That was a not so good die. You know what? Fine. You give up your life easy enough. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Oh, it's a beam. <laughs> I was like, wait. It's always fun. Yeah. With the royal broadsword, I can use for better things. Definitely. Oh. That one's just indestructible. It's not ripe yet. Those are. Oh. <laughs> that was a muddle bug. You're still pretty low in zone. I know some people really just stash a lot. You can go above a thousand. Um, that's all I know. I don't know what the cap is beyond that. Maybe nine 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 nine. Maybe. So I guess who knows? I can see someone running though. Okay. Um, I see the light root. Okay, it's a little bit of a detour. Okay. Don't mess with a giant robot with a sword. That's on you. Anyways, um, I can see more of the fireflies. I wonder if the fireflies only spawn. Is it specific locations or is it actually influenced by nighttime? I I don't know that much. But regardless, I know that they're always in these tree trunks. And they always get scared by the Evermeans. <laughs> There's always an Evermean in the tree trunk. Because they just love their patterns. There's also always a chest in the tree trunk. And it's always a large crystallized core. Um, there we go. They can run, but they can't hide. Um, yeah, I would like a fan. Because I would like to run. There's stuff down here. 
Who are you're a Yiga, aren't you? Hello, Yiga. That light. Researcher. I have to tell you, someone figure out the deal with the bright core. Really a way to amplify that light. Oh, maybe it actually is a researcher. Wow, an, an honest folk. That's a, that must be a mistake. Who's a mock? But yeah, I guess something that hints at that all, all light roots are shrines on the surface. And, well, vice versa. I think that's neat. Took me a while to find that, but uh, I'm glad I did. Also, goodbye tree. Waddle, 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 waddle. <laughs> Wog. Got gloomed, stepped into the lights. Yes! The one that I'm very aware of the fact because I activated it. If you know who sees you, it's gonna suspect something's up. Oh, it's because we're wearing the Yiga stuff! <laughs> okay, so he was not trying to fool us because. I'll leave it to you. I forgot, yeah, you perfectly blend in. It's an actual disguise. The Rogue Link, sworn enemy of the Yiga clan. Seems the stories are merely stories. In memory of Master Koga, he got launched to space. Oh wait, we missed the bink. Bye bye. <laughs> that was snappy. Yeah, these soldier spawns, I'm not even gonna bother cycling out because it's always. I don't know, the loot tables are very weak down here. Took a lot of travelers and soldiers, so. Not interested. But we finally filled up that, so. Good. Now let's go to the Coliseum thing. I'm just like, I can't pass it. Potion stuff, I'll take that. That was a big puff from tree. More of these silly guys. I think it's funny that just the world's in so much chaos, even the trees are mad. Everyone's repopulating, cutting down trees. That's just the wrath. Also, I see a big uh, statue for me. Right in front of me. Yeah, it's one of the triple ones. Okay, I've only seen like two of these. One was uh, below a Call Citadel, and another one was like below Hyrule Castle Fun Ruins. Yeah, which makes sense because they're usually under places where big battles took place. I just like because it's triple. Yeah. So, similarly, obviously, a big battle happened near the plateau. So, there's one of each sword, claymore, and spear. And these are good because uh, we can make more of the light dragon weapons. It's only long throw though, which I like my long throw on hammers I use for mining. When combat, long throw is still long throw. But I value more because long throw is like very buffed because it turns things into a bullet and it's fun. Oops, wrong part. So I will always appreciate that. <laughs> Revenge for killing the Deku tree in Ocarina of Time. Yep. Because, you know, trees just had it bad. So, yeah, it's an abandoned Yiga base. And it was underneath the Gate Post Town ruins. Maybe it was too close to the uh, plateau mine. Yep. No, not really, because he had a big base operations under the plateau. Wait, right, according to Koga, this location will be destroyed. An ominous camera pan? That wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> wait, I wonder why. Was this something that was originally there, but... Gets destroyed later in a playthrough, or what? How did Kogan know? What is this base, exactly? 
Did they have to hide or something? Or was it because they retreated because Kogo was originally here? Uh, I don't fully have an answer. That's interesting. I thought there was a duplex bowl in the, uh, the box. I was like, huh? Oh. I'm sure take the right way in the Coliseum. Oh yeah, goodbye, soldier weapon. Or royal weapon. Yeah. The base arm can't smack rocks, but it can still break ores. So yay for having utility. Definitely went the right way. No, we're still we're still keeping up. I'm glad we got that light roots in those camps. And that was all very good. Well, Frox. You know what? It's here for the parts. It can die in three hits. Let's kill it in three hits. I'm taking his loot. If we need to build more pirate ships, we can definitely do so. Turn around. He knew. It's okay, what are you gonna do here? We have too much weight. You can't suck us in. Right? Not easily. It's actually very helpful. <laughs> okay. Let's do this, Minoru. Can we we can. Okay. Well, um <laughs> I like I can spin to win easy. We do pretty good base damage, okay. <laughs> I can't really crack your deposit. Not easily. I'm gonna get flicked off here. Boink. We. <laughs> Wait. I can just paraglide right back on, couldn't I? Ow. Next time, let's put like a bird glider on it or something. Or a hoverstone. The last time we're hanging multiple at once, that's. that's a lot. He's like partying. Uh-oh. Bye. <laughs> what about that? <laughs> oh, the next fox fight, we'll have to do that. Because if we get launched in the air, we can just hover back to where we want to go. We won't flip her on immediately. Calcium it is. Yeah, I like Lurin's a good next stop, but I also do want to see the monster control squad, so that'll all be fun stuff to check out. I don't think so. I'm still trying to find Frox locations because I believe it's a depth set that requires them. Um, I, I'm trying to max out all the sets and the Lionel stuff uh, is used for the Barbarian set, which we already pretty much have the Fear Stadium maxed out, so we don't really need a Barbarian. That's more of just a side objective. The base got attacked by a frox. Oh, the Yiga base. Is that why they abandoned it? You know, there was a, a diary entry somewhere. It wasn't in these depths, but uh, maybe the uh, the Kala ones or something? I don't know. Um, there was like a frox and then the book, like the diary book in the Yiga base talks about how there's a frox nearby and you have to be really careful. Which I guess the frox was kind of close, but I don't know. That could help explain why. 
Who knows? Wait, what are you? Skeleton. Well, I was just gonna build something with a single wheel. Just because of like my speed carts. So don't interrupt. Is this going to be stupid? Yes. But I'm sure this will help massively in the Coliseum. Which I'm sure it's a Lionel one. So obviously, you know, amazing. Why am I building this? Fun factor. The only reason. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Um, I guess we'll do that. So yeah. One thing this game helped me do is get a lot better with figuring out things like that in my head. So I can actually do it at an okay speed. Okay. Um, Minoru, you are fantastic. But we're going to set off with our own thing. Wait, what are, I wonder if I made the water sprayer. There was like a Yiga thing we saw before where it's like, if you put the water... In this case, we'll uh, put this here. Yeah. Put a little hydrant in front. This water can be manipulated in fun ways. We put a little shock emitter. So you kind of contaminate the water with thunder. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh <laughs> Wow, that was fantastic. I, I should build more of those. Ow. <laughs> yep, that, that tops the stupid list for, for sure. I'm just trying to like shock him, be a little funny, you know? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make this work. Got, get off. You're not, you don't have a license. That was the stupidest thing I've done. Wait, what, what, what was the actual schematic? Uh, not headlight. No, not one of these. Assault carts? No. Charge charger. Okay, it was on a one of these things. Oh, it instantly just snapped off everything. Great to know. Okay, go to work. Awesome. Now that shock is the most effective. This is so stupid. This is so dumb. I had the right idea. We got a lot of giant seeds. Okay. So just let him play with that. Oh, nice. <laughs> Try to. He almost jumped me. He almost actually got me too. So don't do it again. Just yeah. Take him. Roll him. Not all inventions work. It's just fun to see him through. In this case, they'll never reach their conclusion. Electric rock room. Yeah. I was really expecting smooth sailing, and that's water, not a wall. I was like, yeah, let's use these to build up. Stupid. <laughs> It looked like there was going to be a nice flat wrapped across, and wow. That was the best use of my time. Two wheels and no stabilizer, just the way I like it. I'm the stabilizer. Stabilizer is the physics itself. But yeah, I was like, oh, it's like a path all the way around. That's cool. Uh, and there's like a wall, but nope, that's not a wall. It's just water. Which I guess makes sense because it's like lower area. Oh yeah, I'm decently sure this is going to be a Lionel Coliseum. Judging by the patterns. You know, Lionel got replaced in his own above area, so... I'd say I'd be more surprised if it isn't a Lionel Coliseum. Not that I'm expecting it, but... Floating Col... Maybe it has something to do with Lizard. Oh, no! Yeah, those are Lionels. 
I am in for a fun time. It's okay. We got this one. Ooh. Okay, let's heal up a little bit first. And then take no damage, so... We don't have to worry about it more. Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> A little charge up. We're just gonna heal on this first guy. Which means we can't get hit. There we go. <laughs> just one hit. All full. Now let's have fun. Sadly, yeah, uh, a lot of good damage stuff, but it's like, this, okay. Let it cancel out, okay. There we go. <laughs> Melt him with a few. If we had a Royal Guard weapon, we could test the power of, uh, the bone combo with that. But yeah, no pristine Royal Guard yet, sadly. Nice, this is perfect. Oh, there's, yeah, there's gonna be things every time. The charges. Oh, oh. I right, can't really flurry that one. I'm just glad I didn't get hit. Not too good at that one yet. <laughs> Range is kind of awkward though. But we figure it out. <laughs> Bye -bye, axe. And hello, uh. The DPS is still kind of low on two ended weapons. I mean, in terms of just like a flurry combo, you know? Oh, wait. Why am I doing that? That. That's even lower when you don't hit. The beam on there, yeah. A little triple damage, it's fun. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, laser. I will get that timing eventually. Mineral? Woohoo! Beam. It's funny. Can I beam him out? I can't. Ow, why did I do that? Go for it again. Love pairing with this thing. Smack, smack. The whole shield shattered. I, I couldn't even pop up my... Yes, it was gone. Damn. I need to learn the parry timing for those. Bad Lionel. I'm just gonna punch him. I feel like it's doing much damage, so I'm... okay, let's 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 do damage. Doesn't mean the final phase is gonna have multiple Lionels. In a way, weird way, I kinda hope so. Because I like danger. Me thinks if I should just uh, hmm. should I do a little skeleton action? I, I think I should. We do this pristine white goddess sword. Um, we could we could or something like that. We will do good jaw it. I'm not supposed to do that. This will still be a good weapon. Hmm. Me blinking. Yeah, nothing like the Royal Combo, of course. But it'll still be nice. Oh. Do your worst. Aha! <laughs> that wasn't that bad. You said your worst. <laughs> Ooh. 
Hey, Bev. Thank you, Amethyst, for the two. Boo, money jump scare. I am frightened. <laughs> okay. I don't know what this final one's gonna be. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Tool unlocks the double combo for us in the beam. That might kill us. But we appreciate the effort. What are you gonna do? Uh, that? I'm not good at that. Yep, you have to be closer, I think, to get it. Ow. I'm gonna just messed up. Oh, that would have been bad, so let's be glad on that one. Okay, good. Usually we back up too much because Lionel's had that reach. We can't back up too much to floor that. There we go. That was just fun. Looks like it a gloom weapon or something at the first. Okay. Yeah, technically faster combos if you have them like a spear or handed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> How many times can we loop the standard combo? Three in a row, like always. I'm getting to like near half. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is indeed near half. And a fourth! <laughs> now he's got that new move in there. It's just not fair, but you're also being predictable. There we go. Yeah, get a little beam. It's gotta be a great region stopper if this game ever gets uh, a master mode. He's gonna do a one-hand attack again because he's predictable. So long. This will end. End. Now don't tell me that there's there's gonna be multiple. I don't think there's ever been a multi-Lionel fight in this before. Oh come on! They missed a great opportunity. Lame. Okay, I guess we just do the same thing. Oh, that one I can't. Not easily. Um. Nice. <laughs> The armor. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Milk the damage too. And I guess use up all the damage because we have it. <laughs> I'm not using an attack up. Not too good at that. <laughs> That's much better. This will be the halfway hitter. It was. Now I'm just gonna... Yeah. A little one-handed sword wrecking. Can't do that. So... Ow. <laughs> Thank you. Keep doing that. A few mounts. That sort of does the petty damage, but... It's one damage. Uh oh. I can't do much <gasps> I flurried that... That is so rare. I'm never able to cut. I just run away. Uh-oh. We gotta do it again. Yep. <laughs> if you don't make the first flurry, you're screwed. Don't even try to... Or, like, just be far like that. That works, too. Let's go. Minaru shot. Laser. Uh oh. <laughs> Thank you for the shield. Bye bye. With my Lionel fabric, too. That was fitting. Yeah, I think it was mostly worth it for those charges. <laughs> but look at all those arrows. They're just. I don't know if you can refight these. My guess is not. I never tried. But. I forgot about Majora's Mask, too. We got Minda's helmet earlier. I'm like, I don't think I'm missing any of the more one-offs. Majora's Mask, right? 
Because I was just talking about that a, like a couple streams ago. But, uh, sorry, wrong sort. It would be with all the other masks. Well, DLC masks. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all the masks, and then <laughs> the champion's tunic, then the Island Lobster shirt, and then the rest of the masks. They just deserve a comfy place in between. <laughs> Korok aesthetic. This also works as a Korok. In our Korok when we did like the like the old shirts, because we're going for like the Makar look, uh, the Moon Waker. But this is also like the goofy. Korok's not all green, but it, it's silly, I guess. So, um, yeah. Well, I thought that was awesome. Floating Coliseum, so we'll probably find like a Lizazolphos one somewhere. But regardless, let's go back on our pirate adventure because that was a fun detour. But in the meantime, I will be uh, using the restroom, so actually just give me a few minutes. Sorry. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Hello, bread pirates. We're just doing more pirate stuff. Sorry, just in time, but also not in time because I got to flush. Uh, so <laughs> we will be back. Give me a couple minutes, please. Uh, we will do the blop. And then we'll have... Um, Who's watching the stream this time? One second. Mud. Mud will watch the stream. Huh. Well, we'll just overlook, uh, you know, the evening of Lurlin. So, yeah, just give me a couple minutes, please. Uh, hope you're all doing well, and then we'll resume. Hello. I am now back. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Mud. So, 
Oh. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I... Well, I just love the whole area around Lurlin, and... We're just gonna check this out before doing, uh... Well, wherever that control squad was, which I believe is more... You know, heading in the Gerudo area, so... West. But yeah, hope everyone's doing well. It's nice to be able to talk about some stuff more... Of just the game and whatnot, because... I always had the streams before this, uh, well, without chat, because I was avoiding spoilers for all the big story things. Um, one second. I gotta check something really quick. Uh, I don't, do love the Lurlin music, though. I think my favorite uh, town music is either Korok Forest or Rito Village. Okay, <laughs> we're all good. Um, oh, doing great. Whew. Yeah, it's always a comfy day playing Zelda. I guess the goal for me is I just really want to, you know, well, I'm enjoying getting through this playthrough and doing everything, seeing all the sights. Um, because that'll allow me also to, to do more research for Stats of the Kingdom, because we have three videos on that now, and it's all been very awesome. So more of that, and then a challenge running. I want to start my first run in a couple weeks. That'll be really awesome. Oh, Rhodes. Make your wife happy again. Been fretting over whatever there's anything she could do to make Lurlin famous. You're the person from Hateno. At the village head's house. Okay. Interesting. I guess oh yeah, the head house is on this side. We'll play all the games for a little prizes. That's you know. Always a given. Imagine if Skype he's fell in link when I was like idle. I'm sure it's something that can happen due to some weird stroke of luck. It's probably not if he's like completely still, but you know, if he like runs into where it's already falling. I heard what you did. Having Bolton re yeah, this was, the, there were the two people in Nintendo, um, clearly. Heard everyone talk about a hero saying the village, thought it might have been you. Mm. My father, Rosette, is grateful. Uh -huh. Yeah, but all the monsters all driven out. Uh -huh. Mostly as if it did before. Yeah, everything's really nice, besides something. Uh -huh. Or maybe just something additional. And of course, it's the meal. Rice and spice. Uh, a seafood curry they're looking for. Okay, then you'll come up with a great idea. Okay, so it looks like we're making seafood curry. Um, which we will do here. Seafood curry. We need rice and spice. The spice of life. Rice. Spice. But porky specifically, it's gotta be fancy grade. Oh, there we go. Uh, armored, because I don't use them as much. Yeah, tough seafood curry. It is. <laughs> yeah, rice and spice is the base to all curries in the game. And then, yeah, different ingredients to have the specific meals. <laughs> now I eat. <laughs> Wait, oh no. Too hot? Yeah. <laughs> the one seasoning in Hyrule. No salt doesn't count. Need a gust of wind. What the? <laughs> Excessive much, but, uh, Tulin. <laughs> oh, well. Tulin's not here. We can't do this. Okay. I'm sure people are like, oh, like a fan. However, there's a more, uh, you know how we beat spice? With spice. We give him a nice, good old fashioned pepper strat. Much better. We cured spice with spice. Just canceled out. 
Cover shrouds still work, and they're even more effective. Oh, we can make a flag. Oh. I didn't realize that there's going to be something more. But it's like those evolving quest signs. You can't see some certain things until you help these people in the past. Fishy! Yeah. Satisfactory job. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, fabric! Oh! That could make a good pyro one, too. It, fish and lobster. I was thinking, like, the monster one's pirate, too. Okay, well, that's cool. Right old Verlaura. Oh, Pepper. <laughs> Pepper shout was still there. Can find the precious painting. So to be the head of this village one day. Oh yeah, the Heart Lake. I think that's Tough Mountain. Something we would like to do at some point. Oh. Yeah, Lover's Pot, that's where the Gruta was in uh, Breath of the Wild. Not Grudaton after all. But I've heard of it. We'll have to go there. Tough mountain. So that you couldn't find your true love there. Or you could f couldn't. Oh. You really don't try. Couldn't find it. And now they're so close. Yeah, we'll have to check that out. Also, hi guys. We really missed a few things here then, I guess. Huh. I guess this pirate's being helpful. Just that. Hair down. Let it flow. Mm. Teaming up with your pal, Bolson. Chemistry is out of this world. Just the master crafters and builders. A new attraction. Is it a fishing base thing? Uh, a floating hotel. Underwater tours. Host a water... I mean, these are all great ideas. Uh, but a water rally... So maybe we can use our pirate ship. Very clever. Huh. Inviting hotshot professional racers to develop some vehicles. I wonder who. Not the Gerudo Sand Seal people, I don't think. <laughs> Not them. Specifically states them. Yeah, okay. Or maybe this is only here because we did that Terrytown thing. Once they finish their work there. Maybe, maybe not, but we did finish the work there. We got the rewards, uh... In short. Lurlin Resort Project. Well, I gotta see that. Um... Yeah. I, I will see that, actually. But in the meantime, we got all this. This is fun, though, and chill. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's like... I don't know. Why don't I have words sometimes? Um, I don't know, just compared to like all the times I usually stream Zelda stuff and just find new fun ways to play Breath of the Wild and just happy that I'm actually doing something new every time. It just feels kind of wild because I'm just so used to replaying Zelda games all the time. Uh, I don't know, so it's just cool. Just puts a... Yeah. Very content feeling over me. But even replaying stuff is fun. But it's like knowing that this is the end of the uh, stuff I haven't experienced. Oh. Okay. Red. So that means. Okay. Ah. Scoring that prize for free. <laughs> Doesn't deliver it though. <laughs> okay. I don't really need the other ones, so uh, that was actually really good. Otherwise, if you give him a roasted porgy, uh, sniff, 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 wait. <laughs> Smell a dream about roasted porgy. I don't have it. So next time, I think they'll all reroll. I usually got them all, but I really don't need any of those two parts. Uh, Lionel stuff just always good. Why wouldn't you? 
for either making stuff or even just upgrading the barbarian stuff. Boot or. Okay. So all those things. I forgot what all the goodies were. Does the chest come? You know, I think we did see. I don't fully remember though. Okay, so that just comes back, I believe. You can get porgies there. Very nice. Oh, yeah, the shop. Right. Oh my god, the porgy. Realistic porgies. These are the nightmares we dream about. Dun dun. <laughs> These aren't real. They're like stuffed porgies. <laughs> Without the boat, get some stuck. You need a boat. Here you are. Hmm. I don't have time to chat. Okay. I wonder if it needs one of the boats that we found by like Eventide. We got all. Oh, boat got washed out to sea. Hinoko. Wait. Still some things you can only find. Customers are eager to see me get my shops up and running again. Wait a second. Tinoco. Tinoco. Don't even tell me that. Uh. <laughs> yep. We need one of those boats. Does that mean I can... Don't even tell me this is going to work. I have enough room. I insist. Well, there goes my Zonite. <laughs> oh, pff, and there goes my motor skills. This is the boat, but you don't like the Zonite version, do you? Well, I guess our option. <laughs> so they must be really rare then. Uh, I'm glad I found those. So instead of sailing all the way there, let's we probably warp there and then boat all the way. So yeah, um, really another pirate adventure. I'm I'm so I'm so good at this. I'm amazing. Oops. Fruits, fruits. Oh yeah, and you can just stay for free. <laughs> it truly is the best in. Uh, the salt spa. I just have to... I don't need the salt spa. <laughs> well, I could forfeit the salt, but... Uh, let's just wait two hours. Um, Have a peaceful sleep. Yeah, now I'm skimming some of the dialogue because it's like the town dialogue that we're seeing a lot of. Um. Boats in your auto build. Oh. Yeah, because it's just like, you know, it's it's fun. It was actually you who showed me that, so I'm just like, oh, I have to get one of those. I was like, yeah. Okay, I forgot what was here was, yeah, that looting area, the chest game, and then... Oh, yeah, the restaurant. Get all the cool loots. Or restaurants, more so just a lone cooking pot. But... Wasn't that something? <laughs> it's already been so long since they've been here. Ah. The pollution... Oh, they comment on it! That's like the shirt that that one, uh, I think her husband had. Yeah. Having my husband gave that shirt to someone who can appreciate it as much as he did. That's cool if they comment on that. I have to get to work. The premier and only restaurant. Yeah, little small towns. You can just monopolize at anything. Because you're the only one. Yeah, that's cool, because he also met them at Skyview Tower, so maybe if you didn't meet them there at first, unless you had to meet them, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I don't know if meeting them was a requirement for them to come here, but I don't know. If it wasn't, that means that there's custom dialogue depending on what you did and how you did things. 
Restoring our community. <laughs> Feast Fiat was a delight. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. Like a meal for the road. Oh, I would like one. I'll I'll take. Oh, <laughs> I'll take nothing. Um, sorry, pepper strap pepper. Wait, what's the recipe on this? Oh, okay. That's good to know. Yeah, but the shirt's happy too. It gets to be worn by the guy who helped our family. You're very special. I'll take it. Snail chowder. That wasn't something in Breath of the Wild, was it? <laughs> Wait, maybe I might be. <laughs> might be the one I just am not remembering. Yeah, it must have been. I'm just. I, I don't remember it. Uh, maybe, maybe. I could pull out my cookbook, but uh, just, just a maybe. <laughs> Okay, well that's good stuff. Um, I just like how there's so many freebies because he helped build this place up from the ground up. We had to rethread all the trees through like the buildings and build that with Bolson. Clear with the pilots or pirates. It was a fun quest though. But yeah, let us recruit. Um, I'm gonna recruit the Grudo people, but first Titano stop. I, I can delete that because we did the Korok. Uh, I leave those pins whenever I see one of those Korok trails I don't want to start yet, where it's like, you have to travel to backpack Korok somewhere. But it's like, okay, today, since we did the beach, I, I did that one. So, right. let's go here. Maybe let's get that Luralin glider, because that's kind of fun. And then, uh, yeah, maybe check on our wheat field. I like how you can farm now. It's like, very nice. Cool. to be clam chowder without the clams. So it's just chowder? <laughs> yeah, the Kogera boss scene is awesome. Uh, that's definitely one of the best songs in the game. And uh, yeah, just the whole, the thematic cinematics and the whole Rito area has gotta be some of the best, so. Very scenic. At first I didn't really like the boss fight because it was, I mean, it was, <laughs> Obviously a more cinematic fight, and there wasn't a lot of like skill-based things you could do against it. And I kind of thought the other fights would be like that, but I'm happy that they're all different. So I think I can appreciate the first boss more. Just a really good cinematic one where you just fly around. It doesn't require any like fancy moves or anything. It's just cool, you know? So we still gotta get that. Um Yeah. This definitely soon. Like, we got it, and I love this glider. Um we have to go. Yeah. You have a lot of good ones. Lurelin? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I got that one out. I like how it has like certain like shiny elements too. Like it'll be very specific parts of the cloth. Like the, the compass on this. Just a little bit of shine. So it's actually like textured well to what it is instead of just, you know, a normal, a base texture change. I explained that bad, but uh. <laughs> Yeah, I like how some of them have like the shine to it. It just makes me feel cool. Yeah, for boss fights, uh, the marble gomo is very satisfying. I loved uh, shooting Enobo you know, up like the size of the walls. Like that was cool. So tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> there we go. We're doing good on that now. We have 42. Okay, now it's plant rice. Uh, plant something else. Yeah, so I'll have to give a new seed then. We're good on everything. I love tomatoes, but we don't need more. Um, the ones that you get to cut are fun. You can plant the sun pumpkins. Oh, but I do need rice. That's... Uh, need wants... Whatever. I, I want sun pumpkins, so... It takes time to raise crops. But as long as you give it one seed, they'll keep replenishing. Um, yeah, until we want to swap it out. You can do the hardy things, but you only get... Well, it's only like two at a time, but that's pretty good, because you only have to give up one. You can just have a good hardy field. Yeah. Either way it works. Okay. Apple, apple. Still have to go to Satori Mountain for all the apples. That's nice. 
yellow and blue. It's just but fishies. Um, yeah, let's go to Terrytown. I kind of like this war point. I, I like, yeah, that's really our best one. Thank you, Spinner Rex, for the two. You're a good YouTuber, and this is all I can donate. Well, thank you. I appreciate anything. So, I'm glad you enjoy being here. Hmm. When I first fought Colgara, did I, um, oh, did I shoot it? Yes. Um, at first you did like, where well, you can do like a thing where you dive into it, but yeah, technically the easy strategy is just shooting it. So if you just want to do it the fast way you can, but the diving is much more fun. You just cook grass for rice. That's true, but it's like, it's a bit inconsistent. I mean, rice is easier to get than wheat. So, yeah, that's why I made a wheat field because wheat's, I don't know, it's, it takes a bit longer to get than when I do Hiteno stops, it's so much easier to just swap my paraglider than just get a bunch of wheat than having to be in the Rito area spin attacking. Um, but rice, there's just more areas where it spawns and bigger fields technically. So yeah, that's fair. I just wouldn't have a lot. <laughs> yeah, some pumpkins, not as easily. So that's a good way of putting it. I'm sure those are other good farm methods I didn't explore yet, especially with uh, zone I attack. Yeah. Um, I don't want to do the race again. It was fun, but there's there's really no good rewards to it. It just seems like a means to an end. To get these people to do the next thing. But this was fun. Sabota. Sabota. <laughs> I'm driving this morning. Also, I like her cane. I'm a, it's like a, I don't know, a snake. I didn't really notice that before. Just bonks people. Uh -huh. You are now poisoned. Yeah, weapon. <laughs> there we go. Complete the expert course, beat her time. <sighs> I like driving cars. Plan out a fast run bird's eye view. But no, I'm, I just want to talk to you. We're doing a C thing in New Orleans. Mm. I see, so it's a race that takes place on the water. New Orleans Village Shore. Racing on the ocean. We did a sand seal race, you did Zonai cars and boat race. <laughs> this is truly the pirate competition. No. <laughs> it's not true. There are no roads racing in the ocean. It is not impossible. Oh. Possibilities are endless. Ah. I don't know what to do here. Using Furnison in the lunch. Mm. <laughs> go help him out. There we go. Building one on the water. Yeah, I wonder how that's going to work. You have those buoys. Those floaty things that you race through. It's like Boyo. I don't, I don't know. It's a B ward. Um, yeah, got some data from the water fairing vehicles. Hmm. Okay, so take anything because there's tons of ruins. Got the bad end of the bargain. But nah, this was fun. Yeah, you could just play around with all this stuff that fell. Crap into uh, crap vehicles. Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, seems like if we're doing that, uh, we have two side quests. One, we're trying to get this boating race. And another one where we got to deliver a boat from somewhere to Lurlin. So I feel like we should probably do the boat delivery one first. And I don't know, then do both stuff there. Still like to get more data. Okay. Let's do that. Um... First, let's get a boat, and by a boat, I mean two. One to give up, and a second one for us to use. So we'll make a big boat. We're going to Tinoco Island, which is very convenient. We placed right there. Why is there no depths pit? Uh, it, it's buoyant or something. I mean, I know buoyancy refers to how something floats, but... It's pronounced buoy. Buoy. 
buoy. Yeah. <laughs> Landlock croton. Sorry, I just... You know what I'm saying, right? Just those floaty things in the, in the water. Um, we're on, like, beaches. Yeah, start with a B. They are buoyant. Also, not me warping your thing with Skyview Tower. It's like, okay, let's lift off and... Oh, wait. Minoru, what can you do? You can do something. Sadly, can't go super far, but... Oh, oh <laughs> hi, Lizard. That was good timing. There we go. Let's make this work. We're going, we're going right there. Sure. We. <laughs> not sure if it's the most efficient way. It's definitely not actually. <laughs> but it's kind of funny. Hover stones are similar. Maybe they're a bit slower. I don't know. The TLDR is the fan is a good one. Bye bye. <laughs> nice. Pride. <laughs> Ow. Stop. There we go. Just get someone. They're annoying. I need a weapon first. Uh. Why don't I just beam? I just. <laughs> Back up. You're we late. Okay. You know, I have a good way of getting a weapon. Take a weapon. <laughs> nice. Uh, which one is the best? I would say this one. Yes. <laughs> Options. Tons. <laughs> no. Get back. A little too much. Oh, that. Yeah. A little too much killing. Oh, yeah. If gliding was our goal. <laughs> One of them was bound to work. We got a double parry. Wait, did we actually double parry yet? Or I just saw the Boku getting parried. Uh, what do you need? Good headshots. Ain't that a kick in the head? Uh. No, this is your time to shine. Yeah? Uh, no! <laughs> Unless it's time to shine. Uh, not a good type of shine, though. No idea if the buff is master sword beam up. Pin. <laughs> no spitting. Spitting bros. Okay, but you know, while we're here, I can check out the. Uh... Wait, did we fully check that out? I, I think we went past it, and then I did. Yeah, we just went past it. I was very proud of our boat that I didn't even go inside. But that's fine. Can't hide a cave here, but you know they're not also going to be super cruel at the same time. Yeah, the one cave we had are literally opened by whistling. I didn't find a hint for it. I think we just got lucky by trying it out. It's Ebon Mountain. I don't like doing all the. Uh, Whatever, Satori things right away. Because I'm only going to do that when I actually need to look for the final ones. Just see how many we can get organically. Because we still have like 40 some left. <laughs> seagulls! Whoa! There's so many seagulls! 
How many can we pluck? Probably a couple. Are they, they're interactable. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the range is good, but not perfect. That is so many seagulls. <laughs> Go to the beach for the first time. We're trying to get revenge because he stole your sandwich. Bye bye. Boom! <laughs> like a nuke storm of just birds. <laughs> yeah, that was cruel. Minero, can you float? I mean, I know you can't. We've done this before. But if it's not deep enough, then technically, kinda. <laughs> That was so many. Seagull. Yeah, yeah. Zora armor would have been ideal there, but. Big schools of fish beneath the gulls. That's true. But I didn't see exactly where it was because that was just. I feel like there's just a fishy area. The only like big pool of fish I know about is here. Um, according to my hero's path, yes. Because it's a very condensed pack of gulls. But here I'm just not seeing like a lot of gulls, you know? Or a lot of uh, fish. So like this one might just be more special because of the island itself. I was so surprised I didn't check that earlier. Or just like the area. Also, I do not appreciate chat right now with all the cast slender. Uh, sorry, that's just wrong, you know? Like, there's right opinions and wrong opinions and, and opinions, but uh, I'm sorry, I, I love cast too much. You just, I don't know, when you're just exploring the world, you hear his music on the accordion, tells you a cool riddle. Like, I think that's awesome. Of course, Viv is the culprit for hating cast, but uh, I'll let it slide. Oh well. At least we can all agree that Pen's cool though, right? Like, I, I love both Cass and Pen, and I love how like there's like a big Rito side character and do so much of like the side quest stuff. Cass with past stories and Pen with current stories. Uh, we can all agree Pen's cool though, right? Like <laughs> please. Some. I should use Zomer more. It saved us earlier to get like two hits in a Lizalfos when we did. A pen has skippable text, so he's better. Okay. <laughs> you just zoom through text at lightning speeds. <laughs> valid, valid. Um. Hmm. Do we be normal or do we be not normal? I like not normal. There's like fan boats and stuff and icky stuff like that. Uh, a lot of these are funny little combat things. Um, can we use this to paddle ourselves to the island? Probably not. I'm not even going to try that. It's that stupid. Whirling Pasha. I gotta do more with that. The cannons are silly. But sorry, I was more so thinking the, the super spring. Oop. Exactly what I meant. <laughs> oh, this, this is a tier uh, traversal design. Okay, so we do something like that. Um, that's. Oh, it's right there. I can I can see the palm tree. It was my mistake for putting on the other side. The angle would be better if we did it like that. Yeah. Technically speaking, it's on the other side. Or rather, I don't know physics, but... Wait, no! <laughs> I love trying to figure out simple tasks. Not simply. This was like a divot. 
This is okay. And you are just gonna work, okay? Just as is, without a problem. You know, it wasn't awful. I think we can make it just there. And by that, I mean we'll be in the water, but we'll still make it just there. <laughs> Mashing it. <laughs> no. Ooh, wait. Hold on. I'll catch him. Wait, he's gonna fire at me, isn't he? Okay, do your thing. Wait. Hit it back, yes! <laughs> Zora deflected. <laughs> okay, another great use of the Zora armor. You can literally deflect those back at him. When was the last time I did that? I don't even remember. But it is fun. Okay. So we gotta be a pirate now, okay? And that means building a boat to travel seas. No. There's very specific seas we have to travel here. Because I want two boats. One for later. Hmm. But you know, just boating it might take a bit. So you know what we do? One boat for me, one boat for the person. Oh yeah, we're doing great stuff only here. Gotta get the lure in, huh? What we do? Yeah, we just take these rockets, you know. And we're just gonna put them in the bay. These would be our rocket storage. Rocket storage is good. There we go, just throw it in there. A couple on each side. Four maybe, balance it out. Yeah. Jimmy up the pattern. Good. So what we do is take it to Lurlin. We're gonna cut across. Go! I knew that. <laughs> I promise. Go! Woohoo! What if we had two hover stones? <laughs> um, potentially, you know, potentially. It would be extra hover, which I didn't think of that previously. But if it's by weight... That's okay. I gotta see how this will work. Well, this is the stupidest thing I'm ever going to do, but I am all game for this. Here. If that initial momentum. Uh, no, not that. Let's do uh, <laughs> before we get too high up now. Yes, I can. Y yes, I can. It's, it's just lying. Just It has to get this out of its system. One second. <laughs> Wait, oh, of course that's a quark puzzle we missed. Um, one second, you stay... It's not gonna stay put. I'm gonna use a stabilizer. It's a fan. Oh, it is gradually sinking. Okay, we'll let it do its thing. Um, just don't go too far. I like these ones. You can cheese every single one with the rockets, but... Um, I guess if you follow the natural current. Or probably won't see these as fan, honestly. I like doing these the intended way. Because if you turn into a little boat... Sometimes, like, you gotta play stuff to go against the current and, like, just have a bunch of weight so it, like, does it. But this, it gives us the fan for a reason. Na, 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 na. 
I'm sure if you actually knew how to build, it'd be phenomenal. <laughs> like that's gonna do anything. Maybe, you know, just a little more force. What if we just hit it? Sure, the fan was the intended solution. <laughs> there we go. But it is fun. Okay, now let's go back to our boat island. We'll get the we'll get the rockets. Um. Yes, this is the One Piece stream. We can ruin Sky Island. It was that one, I guess. If you, I don't know, had two fans or something, did something stupid. Maybe just built up actual cohesive boat out of it. You probably could have done that, but I didn't. I didn't bother dragging all those pieces over. Okay, but yeah, what we should have done something like this. We get our flame emitter. Without, that's well, kind of perfect. Yeah, you can just stay right there, actually. Um, well, prefer it if you actually went here. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll see that prevents it from going down. <laughs> yeah. Just queue up the next one. There we go. Queue up the next one. This is a great use of materials, too. The efficiency is amazing. Some fans, you know what? As this kind of sorts itself out, I think fans will be awesome. Because with the fans, you can kind of add a bit more, and batteries on an issue, it never is. See? There's gradual ways up here. The hover stones keep it up. Um, I'm sure it's doing great work, too. See? You know those fans are just putting in the hours, kind of. Battery's never an issue in this game, it just isn't. We run out, we run out, and we won't run out. There we go, see? What you do is you just use one of the eight bajillion uh, little funny chargers. Yeah, these ones. Okay. I think we're going up. Look how high up we are. All that work was for great cause. This is really perfect. I am a master builder of the seas. The flying pirate terror ship. An old rumor that's never been invented yet. Okay. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. It's wherever your can. Oh, it's wherever your camera's pointed. That's right. Okay. Well, we don't need balloons. That was kind of a ploy. Fans will keep it up regardless. Yeah, it's just it's just in the fans. Give it immense moral support and it'll do anything. See? This is awesome. This is so great. <laughs> Of course I was paying attention, and I didn't just notice that last second. And then we go, uh, steering wheel so we can move this. Oh. Steering wheel so we can... 
I like being by the fire. It just keeps you warm, which is important when you're building long days. Okay. Like a middle mantle of the ship. Yeah, it's, it's going up now. I, I can see how it's working. The stupider the build, the more fun it is. If you have enough fans, it's gonna work eventually. How balanced? I don't know. We'll see it's mildly now. You just kind of stick them together. There we go. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay. Oh! Did it. The hoverstone kept it afloat. No! <laughs> okay, you know what? No, we have the framework now. That was just slowing us down. Because now, that was just for the enlightenment. <laughs> Rest in peace, all the rockets, I know. But this is for the actual beauty of it. Please, 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 please. Uh, we're close. We're getting close. Just like three more, please. We're gonna reach a build amount on just this specifically. This has to work. One more. Come on, the down thrust is insane. If we're able to make a cage cart, we can do this. Yeah, it's teetering. We're so close. We only have so many more fans. I like how they're buoyant. That's very nice. I yeah, I want two boats. That's that's the reason. Because one is for me, one's for my friend. He's waiting in Lurland. No! <laughs> Well, I guess that's that. It hovers out just barely. So long. That's... I thought we could have made magic. So just for that, we will still make magic. I don't care, I'm not giving up. All these fans will do great service. This did not go anywhere near what I needed in my head. Just, it's, it's something, it's a... Uh... One in two inventions will fail on a good day. Uh oh, there we go. We're doing good. This is the best pirate ship to graze the land. Please. It's almost there. It is so close. I guess I have to drop the two boat thing. But if it's all that in one boat, I think that's just enough to get it to work. Oh my god. Yeah? Wait. Please. We don't have the hover stones or any other junk on it now. Just the might of the fans are working in tandem. One more, one more, one more. Something just snapped off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty. Yeah. It's it's a bust. It's even heavier than the cage ship. So now we know that. Here I was thinking two would have been okay. You know, because, yeah. My inspiration for this build uh, was because of my cage ship that actually does work. <laughs> nice. 
as it sinks to the bottom of the ocean because I didn't plan for the metal in this situation. So, metal. There we go. This is why I want to build. See, this works just fine. But that's even heavier. <laughs> this is how we cage things and move them around the map. But yeah, we are reloading all of this because this was absolutely awful. And I don't want to be in this boat again. But you know what we say here? We say thank you, Korok Autosave. Because Korok Autosave made us retain our sanity. Which is good. It's very good. Okay. Well... <laughs> So if you want to bring a boat three inches off the ground, that is the way. And that's that's possible. <laughs> Somewhere in Croton's mind is a kid covered in sprinkles and ice cream. That is, yeah, too accurate, uh, unfortunately. Okay, let, let's build a more sensible creation. What's nice about this, at least, is we can do like that. And it'll auto-build what we need. With fans, please? No. Okay. Well, even just that's fine. Can I do it like this? Here. Yep, that. And then we're just gonna charter along another bolt. <laughs> like we should have done. Do we wanna have like a cannon construct thing? I have no idea. We could, though. But most importantly, let's just get it working. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, my disappointment in myself. And then just one final one in the back, just to really give it some oomph, you know? It's gotta have the oomph. Not too lopsided. So that's good. Then we're gonna do a little construct head for when it's needed. We have the shock emitter in front, which is good. Um, yeah, we, we have to have someone manning the cannons. Wish I could let Tool into it, but nah. If we're in a Roomba on deck, that's an option too. Cannon. I just really need to make sure this doesn't fire at me. I mean, that's a wood board. But I won't see things that are there, so... Let's just pretend that was a good idea. And let's take our invention here. We have a crew. Me, Con Shortcut. Now this is a more realized vision. Okay, it's a little double ship. Yeah, there we go. Boats are better. <laughs> we'll get one for our friend and one for me. And then I'll try to build a super boat for the race. Not a flying one. This cannot fly. We, we now know that. Hmm. Yeah, I need the cannon. Oh, so yeah, that cave confused me, because I'm surprised we got it so fast. He literally just, uh, whistled the door down. Which I didn't know was a door at first. I was like, maybe. But it didn't give me door energy. Yeah, this is nice. Should have brought another one. That's okay. Maybe try building a whole pirate ship with this as the base. Oh, like an actual sailor is right there. That's cool. I like I'm ever going to use that. Oh, yeah, the Zone Ruin thing. That's got to be a thing. It's like different. Not now, though. I can't. Can't. No. I can't lose the boat. <laughs> Later. That'll be next destination, maybe. If it's cool enough. When to fly, you could attach wings to the sides. 
and drop her off the side of a mountain? <laughs> like with the boats? Will they actually abide that way? I never really thought of that, so that is interesting. No. This is fun though. Thank you guys for being here. And it's been nice to talk about stuff. I'm... Obviously, when I'm really in the middle of something, it's hard. But we're just kind of messing around, so it's fun. But yeah, happy like all the spoilers all the way besides minor things now. Because three streams ago is when we finished the game. And the last two streams, we just did like, you know, what I thought to be bigger side content that I didn't want to get spoiled. Um, but we're okay now. Because wings, I don't see why it wouldn't fly. That is true. Well, not like I'm just gonna, you know, walk that over. That's boring. There we go. We'll push it. That helps. See, isn't that just amazing? I had a half plan and just bailed on it. This is the result. Hmm, I wonder what this is. What are you gonna do to my boat? No! My boat! Ah! <laughs> it damaged him to half though, so we're good. Okay. Wait, it's pushing heads because of the cart. <laughs> okay, so it has a lot of moving power. Uh so I was really hoping for some energy. What if we big wheel back to shore? You're not screwed. That's just... It's, it's complicated stuff. I'm a man of the sea. Oh. oh dimension of the rock fallen. This one, okay. Okay, that, that should have uh, some frosting force, you know? Oh! In the perfect direction. No! Oh, it's just a fan. Never mind. <laughs> We're okay. Why am I bothering with this? I don't have the slightest clue. We put a cannon on and everything, and... That, that seemed to be going just fine. Oh, an enemy. Oh, wait, that's a horse. Well, who gets the wrath of my cannon then? It was just a practice build. Okay. So now you go in the water. Just. Uh, like that, maybe? Yeah. One like that. This one will go a little more up, though. It just. I don't know. Makes more sense. Sure. Let's go. Uh oh. Okay, I thought stuff was snapping off, but it was just the one fan that one time. Okay, let us now do this thing. Um, wait, not without me. Uh, get back on the mantle. Oh wait, it's going. Oh, it's going right to place. There we go. Is this a boat? Don't take both of them. Okay. Swift action. So excuse me for a bit. Do not take both of my boats. I will be very upset. Please? You just have to detach them first. I'm like, uh-oh. Where, where's my boat? We call a spine vessel the ever lonely mubs. Did you take... Uh, thank you for that. That's a pretty good one. You can't buy anywhere. Um, no, no. Oh. 
gonna do that regardless. I'm gonna auto build something with your boat. It doesn't work. It is now a relic of the past. No, I hate that. Why did they take. I don't want your stupid eyeballs. <laughs> That's so upsetting. Okay, I guess we'll keep opening this chest because it. No, you took both. You know, that was still fun. We. We have an idea of our next build. I wonder if a boat... Hmm. Maybe one spawns when we open up our theme park. Or whatever park we're opening. Yeah, I was not expecting that. <sighs> this is what the travel medallion is for. Well... We have a pretty good war point. I wouldn't have known to... Or, I mean... Yeah, I guess if you want to get another boat again. Medallion that island. Bye bye boat. Yeah, my disappointments are measurable. My days were ruined. If I would have known that, I would have like traded in a boat at the end. How was I supposed to know? What was I supposed to know? We really don't. And there are some seagulls. That's okay. Very interesting. Cause a panic. Hello. <laughs> Fishy in the middle. Seeing the surface of the water like that. Make a jet ski? I'm gonna make a jet ski. Use the village boats, even the children should be able to enjoy it. <laughs> if they actually get those boats, I'm gonna laugh. I think he's been buying these uh. two. It's gonna be sun and done. Oh. Let's hear with the Lurlin people, the Grudel Racers, and Bolson the Construction Man. Oh. Can't wait to show you what I can do. That's cool, the Lurlin quest just keep going. It's like, there's more and more. Shocking! And... Shocking! <laughs> oh. There we go. <laughs> the grunts of hard labor. That is so cool! Big boat! It's the Ark. <laughs> Put two of every animal on it. And parade them around. Because animal circuses are fun. It is incredible. It would sort of be even more prosperous. I would hope so. I can do so much. Filled with gratitude. Uh, there's no fee. That's awesome. Everything's free. We're a savior. We're... Yeah. <laughs> the sa... Did it just take... Like, pluck that ward out of my mouth? Oh, never mind. He did say savior. But I was thinking that at first. And like... <laughs> that is, wow. Such an original title. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Lurlin Water Rally. The Rulin Water Rally. The Savior's Race. <laughs> yep, Link agrees. Good. Mm. Only I'm not allowed to name stuff awfully. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, the Tears of the Kingdom, Lurulin's awesome. Because there's just so much to it. I mean, Lurulin Breath of the Wild's cool because it's just secluded and I don't know, just experiencing it's awesome, but. Seeing it now where it's all broken down and having to rebuild it into an even better village is awesome. So I say better because they're more helpful towards giving you free stuff. Oh. Lurlin Water Rally Rulebook. I'm so excited. Must touch all the lights and return to the starting point. Okay, but you gotta stay on the steering stick. Her intermediate expert. Ooh. Uh, you can visualize your path. You can't have a tilt. Um, yeah, you can't rush. But trial and error is good for trial and error. Hello. Okay. Place in the open ocean. <laughs> to select the one that floats your boat. Oh my god, Bolson's gonna be the minigame person. <laughs> Bolson really got a glow up in terms of 
responsibility and fun in this game. I'll give it a try. Okay, if they give me a boat, I'm gonna be very... Okay. I have to track the data from this rally bit. Oh no. I wanna use my... Well, I guess I can use the auto build one. Well, this is cool, I didn't expect them to expand this far. Okay, there are rocks. There are rocks. Uh, we know that much. <laughs> we can build the most basic of boats. We're not about that life. We are about the extravagant pirate life. I can do that by, I don't know, just doing that. 21's a measly fee. We gotta do a pirate style. Yes. Yeah, I'm just, I just like Isle Lobster. With the model mask, that funny, though. So I think we're gonna keep that on. It's a good battle pirate sort of thingy. Where my lobster? There it is. <laughs> it won't have the look quite, but... There's wheels. I see a lot of wheels. I see a bomb. I think this is fine. It just needs a lot of fans, doesn't it? It does. Just fan power it. Extra, yes. Because why not? Screw it. And then take off the steering wheel. Put on the uh, Lurlin rig steering wheel. It's centered because there isn't a good point like that. Ah. We're Zone Zone thingamajigs as souvenirs. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. You could use them. Boy. Greatly evolved from just seals now. I'll try the course. Boy. The beginner. Not a bad choice. Wilson. <laughs> oh yeah, Terrytown. Sorry, I'm just reading this now. The demolished in the houses to put some other funny things there. Which, okay, from a standpoint, like the Terrytown quest in Breath of the Wild was fun, but you know, just very cookie cutter of the houses. I like the Terrytown in this game much better because it's not just all the same building in a circle, and then there's the whole expansion area. With, like the zone stuff. I thought that was a lot cooler. Maha. Time limits is two minutes. Touch all the lights. I'm just, yeah. We have to have the sail that does. <laughs> well, not a good idea. Um, and the shock is just a hazard. Uh, I'm not sure we're really gonna have time for fishing here. Um, I would like to try again. With, with adjustments. Be sure to attach that steering stick before you go, go, go. Okay, so you are useless. Uh, you know, just for that, you get a, a, a rocket. Because I'm sure this will not end badly. Just, it'll, it'll be perfection. I, I'm hoping. Okay, I'll give it a try. Beginner course. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I guess we're doing all three, too. I'm not backing out. Two minutes, all lights. Okay. Uh, Wasn't a bad plan. I just wanted to do all three, but like, yeah, we'll start from the easiest. Yes. 
Wow. I think we'll make it. Okay, it seems like I think we might be okay. That was that was a little rough. I guess we can build a jet ski. I'm sure someone's made a jet ski. But I I, I like the pirate boat. Lobster shirt and moblin hat. Just a silly little combo. <laughs> Rest in peace to my cool wooden shields. Uh, bunny shield is all we have left. Oh, you're joking me. That did it. <laughs> when did that come? I thought it was like passing through the gateway. Like, Aww. golf, we finished. Cross the finish line. I I did make it. Yeah, the rocket did actually work out pretty well at first. Um, but now we don't get that. We have to do the same thing. Because, yeah. I missed the light because I flexed the model mask. I I did actually. But no, that is a accurate representation of what happened. And yeah, the the shock emitter is causing nothing but pain. I didn't hit the light, which makes sense. It's fine, but I just assume like finish line. Like oh. Ooh. Gas is stuck. <laughs> it, it, it made sense in my head. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying. Uh, you know, I'm gonna change the subject. Don't you love how they decimated this coral reef just to put these minigame platforms in? Like, it's such a nice, like, you know, underwater ecosystem under here. And then just. Well, not, not here, but. Yeah. Plank. I would like to think that they built around it, but we're gonna do a side by side of this area in Breath of the Wild in here. You know, they just like destroyed all the coral to make this mini game. Okay. A battery. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got it from the restaurant, and we'll just give it to the guy who just runs the chess shop and drinks all day. So, yeah, you'll like it. Because you get free materials by doing that. Um, I'll drive this one. Oh. He's wants us to do the beginner course again. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, the funny thing is, I, I don't have to, um, I never throw for the funny. I just make really stupid mistakes that are, have to be funny in the moment. Otherwise, it is painful to get through. <laughs> Yeah, like like that. I promise I did not mean to restart the same course. But yeah. Okay. Don't want to try again. Um I'll give it a try. Intermediate. I have a feeling that this won't be very hard. Also, what if I just built a plane? Two minutes. I'm, I'm gonna do that the final time. To see if we can like, kind of skim over things. Don't worry for content. What I do best. No, like, I don't know. I never believed in stuff like that. It's like, genuinely, I'm just a very clumsy player. And I try things because they're silly in my mind. And sometimes they work and they're very funny. And sometimes they are thing <laughs> so you know you get you get the mixture of the best of both worlds and I never know what I do I'm just like jamming on this stick right now mm -hmm. I'm so glad I actually made that it's just so funny it's like we're in silly moblin mode oh bye bye porky Full speed ahead. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna try to build a plane thing to see if it's possible. Cause <laughs> this mini game is definitely not as interesting as the car counterparts. <laughs> okay, 
Stream quality bad. It seems fine on my end, but okay. that's my end. Uh, <laughs> the idea of being a pirate in Tears of the Kingdom. It's fun and pretty silly. Okay, we get more batteries for more junk inventions. And elevated food. I like how the village people are teaming up to make the prizes, you know. Fantastic flavors you fancy. Be sure to make it to Azur Bay. That wasn't a good song. Um... What a thrill. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, bend the rules just to see what's possible. And I am going to sky bike it. Well, sky bike's hard because I'd have to build a fresh one here. I'm not very fluent at that. What if we just did a little bird raft, you know? Like these are fine. Does that float? Guess we'll find out. Yeah, I would need like the sky bike. Um, I know people have made like very fixed ones before. So we're gonna try that. Here, It'd be a really. Oh wait, no, I can just auto-build. <laughs> Me forgetting the prime uh, thingy. It's gotta be up here, okay. And all we do is that. Fly from point to point. And let us do it. A advanced course, though. I'll give it a try. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's there's not many hazards or anything in this course. It's like I don't have to boat. So let's not boat. <laughs> it spins that way. I'm like, uh oh. Uh, let's hope we don't get nuked into the ceiling. Oh. I didn't know it's gonna spin us like that. <laughs> I want, uh, goodbye. So it's gonna put us in the water right there. Regardless of how we like it or not. Okay. Now it floats. I'll give it a try. Oh, no, not the beginner. Damn it. Not like it's gonna work anyways. But it didn't even put us on. What? Uh, uh, uh. He's walk, just walk, walk, walk. <laughs> I'm not moving that. He just, he just feels like doing it. Just doing like the Billie Jean walk. There we go. Okay, uh, I don't want to try again like that. Um, what I want to do... See, that's just a resting platform. I'm just trying to get the sky bike working. Yeah, just... We don't learn. We just, we just do and... Yeah. You know, there are platforms like this we just... You know start a thingy on. It's okay. Grab that. That may be better. May be better. Okay. Hello. That one's raring to go. I'll give it a try. I'm doing the expert course. And we're only assuming that this is going to work. And, uh... I'm betting on this assumption pretty heavily. But once we do it, then we're good. We can go elsewhere. We can take down those monster control squads like we mm. spoke of. Okay, I think it's actually going to work. I have faith in the moment. Oh. 
I just snap my head off without snapping my head off. <gasps> okay, um. I would love to try again. So just, you know, diving in. I am in stubborn kid mode again. I don't know, just today has been kind of wacky. Um, probably gonna hit the top again? No. How, how can I do that? Woohoo! Yeah! Oh my god, it works. Okay. <laughs> I was really nervous there. I'm sorry, out of the two racing games, the car one's fun because it's like all the ramps and stuff, and. But a boat's just a boat. <laughs> We're gonna like literally destroy the records here. It wouldn't even be fair. Also, just like the wind gushing past us. Like, we're flying. We are. This is great. <laughs> it's too much fun. I'm just happy we kind of launched it out, you know? It's like, yeah. It's nice to have something work for once. Okay, but let's not. Just breathe. Get the light. Just up here. Don't need to go through it. I don't have to go back in. I just have to make it work. See? We're doing good. Wait. It's a reprise. Uh, I don't have room to carry anything else. Five batteries and a tasty meal. Um, I, I could have missed out on that, but... You know, you're right. We'll just... We'll, we'll, we'll take your stuff. Thank you. Um, I'll be appreciative. Trout. Five batteries. And there we go. More regional seafood. Hmm. Clarinet Coast. Let's do this. I don't need the sky bike. Oh, what the? Not sure what happened there. I just need one of my own steering wheels again. Yay. <laughs> As I'm still being, uh... Yes. I mean, my food inventory isn't sorted. <laughs> I usually sort it, but, uh... See, we, we have foods, I just choose not to eat them sometimes. gonna try to go because I learned my lesson from many times prior. But if we follow the coast and then uh see what the seagulls are. We should get some tasty uh fishies. Right? Oh no they're flying back. <laughs> I think all the fish just died and they're just like oh I'm bailing. Oh, croc boat. Pickle. Oh, yeah, I think that's actually by where the monster camp is, so... You know, I should do that. We just plop it in the back. <laughs> yeah, I know people like... Just kite it around like 10 Koroks at once, because you can if you forget them. Or if you don't fully deliver them, you can just keep stacking them with each other. Ooh, we got Peblets and... Wait, 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 wait. None of you guys mess this up. None of you guys mess this up. Yep. 
No, it, it does work. Yes. No. Bye. It worked. <laughs> okay. I had to see that through. Activate him with a pebblet. Kill him with another pebblet. We only had room for one failure. Where's your friend? Oh, so yeah, I see birds, but it's only like the giant group of birds where you get a lot of fish. Otherwise, it's sometimes. What? <laughs> the very close coastline. I'm trying not to break the game, I promise. Oh, there's a... Uh... Interesting. Do you guys like water by a chance? I think they do. Here. I'll show them a good time. Boat, you stay there. Uh-oh. This could end one of one ways. There we go. You guys get close here. How about that? Yeah. And just like that. And that's going to stay there. Now, next, I need a tree. Because rocks are pretty fun, you know? You're actually falling him, do a little damage. Yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah, you do a little silly charge. It's okay. There we go. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run too. We're gonna have a fun time with this. Go! No! It's too awkward. Okay. Uh. Ow. <laughs> yeah, get him! Sweep me in the ocean! Ah! Ah! Okay, can I jump it? Uh, jump rope! Jump rope! Nope, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh, yep, okay, we're good. We're doing good. We're doing great. Okay, things work sometimes. Um, backflip? Yep, okay, we get the little high jumps. Sometimes. Oh, and then we go like that. Do a little bullet time. Oh, uh, or do that. You know what? Uh, that kind of work. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, now it's now just struggling a bit. I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think we busted the mechanism. It, it, may, it may be a little busted. I'm just, yeah. Don't pick up my parts. Those are mine. A little up higher. How about a little more? It's like it lost its will to live. Ah! You hit me through it. Okay. What makes it different this time? It's just not moving. It just... It just gave up. Like, it is literally busted. <laughs> that was not supposed to work. <sighs> what changed? <laughs> you did not want to be a part of this. Oh! <laughs> no way! Okay, guess we're going with it. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> no. Ow. <laughs> Need the stabilizer. It's funny when it's not stable. Oh! Oh my, yeah, it's bugged out. It is too bugged out. Okay. Do it again. No, do not stop it. I do not agree to this part of the fight. I'm just scared now. Oh, okay, it's on the stabilizer. No harm can even be done if we tried. It, it's not even, it's, it gave up. It, it's done, it's done Z's like, <laughs> the mechanism won't. Okay, I'm gonna hop over you, ow. <laughs> you just picked, where do you get that pecan one from? You want to throw him in the pit too? 
Be my guest, sure, but... Oh my... Oh my... It is the bonk machine, okay. It's... Only the center part's moving! It's not even the wheel, it's... it's this thing's gone. Oh wait, no, it's always the center point. Oh, okay. I get how this works now. Well, not like that. Can make it work if you try. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I'm just trying to hit the Aracuda. The rest of the guys can do whatever. <laughs> oh, this is familiar. Wait, what if we... Oh, climb it. <laughs> Stops. Yeah, the wheel isn't in inside. Of okay. Oh, there's some friends in the party now. Okay. Wheel wax. <laughs> it's a wheel run. <laughs> Ow. Okay. And then we get bonked. Okay. Um. So if I have a wheel in a wheel, it should be more wheelie then. Sort of how like it was before it all busted apart. You know, let's actually recreate that. Um. Or maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Perfect. Oh yeah, you just use that log. This seems like an awful idea. Uh, you're gonna want to move. <laughs> he did eventually. It was by force, though. He just attacked me without a weapon. <laughs> They're using weapons that don't exist. <laughs> okay, yeah, things are definitely busted now. Just, just a tad. Don't worry, we have food. We will eat the food. Okay, I need a way to get this Aracuda, because bows don't exist yet. Hoverstone, Hoverstone, Hoverstone. The same thing, but Hoverstone. Okay. You want to build a car out of it? No, it's not going to work. Okay. It, it just happens. It's, it's the price of success. This is not successful. Oh, it's that weight. <laughs> right. How limited. Well, that's one part solved. Uh-oh. No, I think I solved it too much. No, it's... Okay, well, I hate that I'm doing this. It's like something I don't learn. It's okay. Like, none of these guys hit hard, you know? It's just. You just need to go somewhere there. We're gonna get this Aracuda first. Let's get the Aracuda. Enough to get him. No! So close. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, it did the trick for him. Now, Aracuda. We're gonna stack these two rockets, so it's double thrust. Just, I'm just, yeah, I, I don't know at this point. It's okay. It's just the, uh, you know, the downsides. Zelda watching Link right now? Yes, you know. Now I can get this Aracuda at last. <gasps> they bailed from the creation. I'm getting them. I don't care. You're coming close, Aracuda. It's gonna happen. Oh, 
Why must stuff like this exist? Okay, he's getting on get Oh, never mind. Just, it's too late at night. You know, this was a fun time. But... I, it, it was fun. It was... This trip was truly fun. There isn't even a right from wrong now. Okay. Well, now it's just this. Helicopter! <laughs> it keeps going faster! Stop! You're gonna get hit. Me over Coblin. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh oh. He did it. He did it. You're at the perfect whacking height. So long. <laughs> oh. Well, that's on you. Look what you just did. Oh, wait. Almost dead. There we go. Let that boulder kind of fry in. Oh, that insta killed him. Oh, man. Well, uh, oh. Speed. <laughs> oh, he still needs to reach his front. I forgot about the Korok. Okay. Well, I complete the hoverstone parts. But we need this thing on our own ship, you know? That was stupid. I was like, if we want a little... F <gasps> no way! I am the most evil person to grace this planet. <laughs> Don't think we won't. We <laughs> Korok brain damage. <laughs> it it doesn't work. <laughs> what if we put him at the end of a tree? Okay, that's that's not even cool. This is like one of those space machines, you know, where like you whip you around so you get used to like the G-force. Yeah, this is the Korok torture. <laughs> you can experience it all over again. Now, see, the thing about, you know, Fort, like that's going so fast because it's the second one and it's feeding off the first one, right? But if it's further from the center, it goes faster, right? So, in a theoretical situation like this, no. Well, obviously that's not going to work, right? But the goal isn't even that anymore. It is pure and torture. Uh, so we're going to put this on the thingy. This is pirate torture. That's that's the explanation for our crimes. I don't even need that. That's just... Rocks are stupid. They're just heavy and... Who needs them? So if you have this mechanism, right? Hmm. You go like that. Or maybe... I don't know. Just... It doesn't need to be that. We do a little spinny on top, but we attach this one not to the axle, but to the wheel. So we need to double spin it. 
I think I'm just gonna bog it out. Hi, fun. Oh, actually, this is a much better tree. Yeah, what if we did that? Just... I mean, something that weighs less, for sure. Look, I just want to torture a Korok. I'm not in the business for anything else right now. Just, just that. Why is it so heavy? Wait, it won't be heavy if it's balanced, right? Yeah, if it's perfectly balanced with another tree. See, this is where the physics come into play. As long as you do that, anything is possible and anything is fine. Disconnects two at once. Well, not quite. Just do like that, you know? Like that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, we just have to be safe here. It'll never hit us. Oh! There we go. The <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> ah! That is freaky. That is terrifying. <laughs> the Korok weapon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna move this to somewhere more helpful. Oh, there's, an there's enemies. Oh, I like enemies. I, I love enemies, in fact, actually. That is your friend, isn't it? Too bad you don't get to see him yet. <laughs> You're in the pit now. The slums. Okay, run back. It's safe. <laughs> Better get your friend out of there. Oh, <laughs> what are you? Go into your. No, you better. You run. Get out. This is not safe for you. Go to me at least. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Helicopter. <laughs> Woo. Ah. Damn. Thank you. <gasps> A Korok is disintegrated. So we're just gonna be safe about this. It's like Russian roulette jump rope. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to get like launched, you know? I mean, of course I can. Why? Why wouldn't I be able to? Uh, you should not have done that. Okay, there we go. Hylia is mistaken in her choice of agents. That is very right, Orca. I I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Oogie. Oh, nice. He's the loot stack. What if we, uh, you know? Yeah. But what if we got ourselves to launch from that, you know? Like, what is stopping us? Nothing. There we go. There we go. Okay, keep jumping into it. Same mistake I was making. That mine wasn't really a mistake. You can get really fun with this. If you want to have, if you want to put a beam on it, you really can, couldn't you? 
putting a rock on it. Now that'll just break it because it's going at two different power levels. Um, water, you know, water is a great idea. Um, I should make a theme park. Yeah, this is this would be an excellent ride. I love rides. Oh, there we go. The goal is just to get hit in such a bullet time. What if we bullet timed it? You know, ball time just messes with physics in the game like a lot. Oh my god, what if I bullet timed? I, I need to try. Okay, we need another bow for the whole time to work. Okay, yeah, I I saw it coming. Our armor will not help us here. That's the thing. Worse of crap, I'll take some of those. Ooh. Wait, the climb. It's okay. Oh, wait. No, I got it. The tree. We fall into it. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to get some rid of those, too. Driving controls stand up better. Oh, yeah, you can put one of those steering wheels. I think we're a little far. We are a little far. Like that. Not hitting the tree. I think there's infinite bull time now. Mistakes can be made. Okay. Oh! Wow! That was a good one! Except if I want to get launched towards where the enemies are, I'll have to go on the opposite side. So keep that in mind, too. Oh! Uh, why why do you do that? You are such an idiot. Okay. Give me a little pop up advantage. Uh, we might have been too late. I'm gonna fully find out though. Yeah, we're a little too late. It doesn't fully kill. There we go. Uh, we're so close. I got it this time. Oh, I, I just like teleported into that one. No, this is great torture. This is human torture now. Okay, so right before we bonk into it. Damn it. No, I don't think that would have been. Nice. <laughs> Gunk up the mechanism a bit. Ow. My food. <laughs> okay, uh, I just need one good hit and then I'll be satisfied. This has been excellent though. This has been very excellent. Wing shield. Oh yeah, wing shields. Those make you jump higher, don't they? Okay, we gotta stop hitting it. Okay. Favorite Zelda game besides these two ones? Uh, it flip flops a lot, but I love Ocarina and I love Skyward Sword. And I love Twilight Princess. But yeah, all the 3D ones are fantastic. We're a little late. Sorry, this is very important. I need a time to just mess around in this game. It's, it's too fun. Ah, oh, we just started the bullet time. 
Hmm. I don't know if that's been passed out in this game either. I never tried that, so... I just shot it because it was funny at first. Need it to work. We keep doing a second too early. And because the speed is like different, uh, if I back out, I'll pretty much always hit it. But in bullet time, I have to really be in the bullet time there. We got platformed. So just a couple more reps and I need to know how this works. This is the hero in action. No! That's a fair used. That could have been a death. That just, just seeing all the stakes here. No, it is very important that we just have a healthy experience to experience I should be going to the end. That's where the force is the strongest. Of course, me not doing physics, right? Come on, it's like a... Ah. That, that is the spot though. That's the spot specifically, that one. Oh, woohoo! You know, I don't even need it. I think I can just... If we just did a more basic, uh... Screw it, I'm gonna spring it. Or a fan, yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah! That's kind of what I wanted. See, we're getting better at this. Come and get him! Yeah, get it, get it, get it! No! So close, come on. It's the charge up then. Arrows are unlimited, it's fine. <laughs> we have Wind Bomb at home. Yeah, this is the new Wind Bomb. Welcome to the new age. Oh. Otherwise, it's just like that. Okay. Well, uh, I don't think it's going to work the way we want it to. What if we try parrying it? Every single one. I'm literally using God tier skill here. Oh! Oh my! Oh! That wasn't even like the normal sound effect. What? Sorry, I gotta see that. What was that parry? I've never seen such thing. Wow. That's fine, that's a fairy to its work. 
We have too many of those. I don't need them all. What the? Like, that's got to be perfect in a special type of way. Well, okay. We did something of substance, so... Um, stabilizer, we could try that. <laughs> yeah, who needs a stabilizer? Just... <laughs> oh, wow. I almost went from... That's a good way to cannon things. Just, you know, let it go off. Kind of funny. And... I like the other one a bit better. Oh my god, it's not even... <laughs> it, it can't even keep up. The stabilizer cannot keep up. If anything, it just makes it faster. Oh my... <gasps> this was a mistake. Thank you for the suggestion. I will serve you in spaghetti. Okay. What do we have of this for that? How are you not dead, Keys? Oh, oh, there we go. I'm just having too much fun with this, so. What? Oh, I was just insulted by it for a second. Don't mind me. Just everything's auto spawning. I'm just like, yeah, it's life now. So what if we double st <laughs> No, this isn't gonna work. I'm just kinda being a little silly with it now. Just put stuff on it, you know? Stuff. Oh. <laughs> stuff. That's not gonna work the way I want to. Yeah, just gonna do that. Just rip the mechanism at first. And what if I did a frost emitter? Probably the same thing's gonna happen. Wow! Where's it gonna fly? There it's gonna fly. Oh, right there. Cool. I guess if you're willing to frost and hit stuff. It's what is this gonna look like though? Ooh, can't go that far. We have to take the hit. Whoa! Winter Wonderland! <laughs> Walking in a winter wonderland. <laughs> da -na -na, da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na, na 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 Walking in a winter wonderland. Dun 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 Ooh, wait, we gotta check that out. Wow. What if we put the fan on top? We can make it like... Ah, uh, just barely not actually. Oh, it's still... Here, wait, let's do that really quick. Blood Moon. Okay. We should have gotten on top of it first. I just, I just want to try to ride the gust, you know? This is too silly. Ugh. Okay. Wait, no. We don't have to get on the fan. Just get on there. Okay. Maybe we should have gotten on the fan. No, that's fine. We're springing up to it. Because I have to get the good angle, you know? My solution to global warming. It's, it's perfecto, you know? Oh. I mean, that was bound to happen. There we go. Woo! That's what I wanted to see. 
How long can you stay above the choppy blade? It's like your own mini game. Uh oh, not very long. Yeah, Hero's lost his mind. We all lost our minds. Go to or it. Nothing says we can't put all the weapons on. Oh my god, it worked. Okay. I see no further utility. What if we get Blood Moon bounced? Nice. I mean, that happens sometimes. <laughs> okay. Fan of death. Let's just see what happens. Wee, wee. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, that was something. <laughs> do, do I want to save all of that for whatever? I mean, I saved the memory of it. <laughs> but I feel like I'm gonna spin myself in a death pit of my sanity uh, if I keep this up. Maybe just one more. One more hit. <laughs> and then we're through. <laughs> Hello, froggies. Oh, a lot of froggies. How oh, cool. Oh, you don't slow motion through anymore. That's a shame. Don't know why that made it stop. Okay, well, you know what we're going to do? Steering stick. <laughs> da -da -da. Oh. <laughs> this is the monster control crew. Just single handedly. I can't even... No. Can I not even stay on? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. This this really derailed to something. Uh, but I, I think something's has to happen. We did some fun stuff today. Just, you know, with Evan Tide and all that. I don't know how much more of this I can do personally. Because it just... It was good energy. But all my energy went to this. I think we're just going to go too fast for it. Yep. So, I think if we just place it, like, here. Which maybe that's for the best, because... I have to grab the steering stick specifically. Okay. Okay, that's what the boat door is for. It'll go fast, but we'll, we'll be more moderate. There we go. <laughs> no! Okay, just, just a little a little slower. A little slower. The further in you go, you technically move slower, in a way. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> just, <laughs> just the whole this crop duster. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta be silly with that. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, let's take this invention to, uh... Um... And we just destroyed our food supply. Just a monster camp. You know, let's just, let's just have some fun with it. You know, let's... Are we going there? I don't know. The... It's funny that they kept that camp from Breath of the Wild. This is what the devs would want. Creativity. No, I don't know. That's not a good camp to test it on. Oh, hey, Moga. <laughs> Screw it. You know what I'm doing? We are going to Hyrule Field. 
we'll just test it in one single camp, because one of these won't do well. Um, there is a camp right there, so I will test it there. Do I have the entire map? I have, the, I have all the, uh, the towers, not the light routes. Okay. Well, next time we do this, um, because I guess there will still be more stuff to check out here, coastal stuff. Uh, it's more like in the other area. I do eventually, well, soon rather, want to do like the cold areas, like Hebra and Highlands. So that'll be cool. So for today, yeah, I'm happy we did like Eventide and more Luland stuff, but I don't think I have a lot more energy after that. I don't know. Just it was fun, and also we've been going for over four hours. So, um, yeah, we'll probably stream. Not too sure this weekend I won't be able to, but uh. Tomorrow and the day after, I should be free, so I'll try to get the stream scheduled by the end of the night. Also, sorry, I know it's blinky, and my mind is in chaos mode, so I have to <laughs> purposely wind down. But definitely an experience. Also, thank you, our green monkey, for the two. The best pirate outfit for Link. I'm just going with this because it's silly. You know, you got you have your own pirate aesthetic, but lobster shirt fits well. Normal boots. Funny mask because, you know, it's like the gimmick of pirates. This is awful. This is awful. Things that should not exist in this world. Ah. Don't break my entire invention, though. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> okay. Come get him. Oh. Maybe it needs to be a little lower. Oh! <gasps> Just offset the weight! Bye bye. Uh oh. Uh oh. That works. You should not have done that. You can't even hit him. We'll help out. You want a little smack? Just a little smack, nothing crazy. Ooh. Oh my, that was insanely crazy. Shushu, get out of this. You don't want any part of this. You don't want a single part of... Oh. Yeah. That was inevitable. <laughs> that was funny, okay. Um. Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> yeah, it's with the Pirates of the Caribbean music. Dun -dun 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 dun 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 Woo! Oh, there we go! There's our launch! <laughs> it took us that long for the launch. <laughs> when we weren't even trying for it. Okay. Well, that was fun. Um, <laughs> I'm glad it ended on a bang. Yeah, sh sh yeah, just right into the rock. Hello, Light Dragon. Or whoever you are. Hello, whoever you are. Maybe Light Dragon. But yeah, thanks for watching. That was very fun. Eventide was very great to see. I love all the different camps on there. Just on the quests and caves around. Um, yeah, we were definitely up to some shenanigans, but, uh, you know, we usually don't go that crazy with auto build and stuff, but I, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to go off bonkers today. But, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. We'll schedule the next stream probably by the end of tonight. Uh, it'll be in the playlist, which is down below. Um, it was nice even talking with you guys, because, you know, the past streams, we didn't have that because it's still dodging spoilers but um yeah thank you for being respectful to the well it's not much to spoil but just like in terms of like puzzle solutions and late game rewards i don't know about but yeah i hope you guys have a good one it was really nice seeing you um <laughs> we'll do a bit more controlled stuff next time just went helicopter mode so yeah have a good one uh hope you guys have a good night and uh see you tomorrow Bye bye Mud says bye. I'm sorry. Bye.